<laughs> oh, that's better. Let me get my chat up and running so I can talk to you guys. Let's see here. There it is. Whoop. Mute. Hey guys. We're doing a weird little reading tonight. I'm getting to the bottom of things, all right? When I uh, learn, uh, read for myself, sorry. <laughs> hey, Sheila, what's up, girl? When I read for myself, okay, sometimes I'll read the whole deck. That's what I'm doing tonight. I'm going to pull you all an oracle card, all right, and then I'm going to, like, I have 12 decks here. Hi, how are you guys? I've got 12 decks here, one different deck for each sign. So first sign, call it out, all right? Hey, how are you guys? Why can I not figure out how to like get my chat on here? Pop out chat. There we go. Y'all, I'm such a technological like dunce. <laughs> I can't even like front. Hey, Joe. Let me see who the first sign was here. Hey, Sheila. Hey, 911. Hey, Joe. Hey, Charisma. Hey, Shannon. Hey, Sheila. First sign I see is Leo. Of course. <laughs> I love it. So you get my first deck. It's the Golden Girls Tarot. I'm going to shuffle all these oracles one time, all right? I'm going to do 13 shuffles while I'm waiting for people to get here. So I'm going to pull you guys all an oracle card, and then I'm going to literally shuffle the deck that comes up for the sign that gets called. And then I'm going to turn it over and get to the bottom of it, all right? The bottom of the deck energy is what I always put on my readings as what I think is the root of the problem. So I'm going to start from the root of the problem and then, like, let it work itself out, okay? And then I'm going to clarify also. I'm going to throw y'all some um, gypsy oracle they're a lot like the Kipper cards, if y'all watch. Um, Tyler's been using them lately, actually, the Kippers. I've never, I don't have Kipper cards. I've never used them, but I use these Gypsy Oracle, which are very similar, all right? Very similar um, energies on them. They're Italian, though, of course, and I'm Gypsy, all right? <laughs> and I don't say Gypsy in a trendy way. I mean, like, I really got some Polish Romani. <laughs> I'll post up some pictures of my uh, great-grandmother and my great-auntie up on here with their little headscarves and big old jewelry. <laughs> there we go. All right, I'm going to shuffle these oracle cards. We are going to do Leo first. All right, somebody write down timestamps for me, please. All right, oracle card we are pulling for Leo, Coyote Spirit, Trust in Divine Detours. This is Chiron retrograde energy in a big way. Six plus one is seven. You got seven energy here. Okay, that's meant to um, confront challenges, all right? Seven energy is not really pleasant. When you're in seven of wands energy, you're being very guarded or you're having to defend yourself about something. When you're in seven of swords energy, um, there's some kind of mental uh, dishonesty going on within you. Mind playing tricks on you energy. Seven of Pentacles, you're really thinking about putting in effort somewhere, but you're unsure. And then Seven of Cups, all right? It's just being confused as all get out about your emotions. Good news is, all right, Seven Energy is very confusing and very confrontational, but you're on the way to the Eight, which is where you really do some deep thinking about what's going on. You guys are experiencing some divine uh, detours here. Chiron Retrograde, if you haven't done uh, dealt with your emotional baggage, it's coming in to deal with it for you. Some of y'all are resisting a lesson here. I get that you're resisting um, like a death moment. They're trying to give you this rebirth with Chiron energy here. But you have to learn your lessons to get it. You're being derailed and detoured right now because you were following down a path that you had already been on is what I'm picking up for you guys. Um, you're being protected is the good news. It's a divine detour. 
it's meant to put you on the right path, all right, to get the good karma that's coming to you. Hey, how are y'all? You guys, Super Chat is on for $20. I will do the bottom of your story, okay? $10, you get a three card, and then um, $5 for a one card. Somebody pin that for me. All right, let's get to the bottom of the story for my Leos. Oh, all right, here we go. All right, you got seven of wands. All right, you're being very guarded about something because knight of swords in reverse. You have zero clarity on which way you want to take this situation. It is about working with somebody else here with this three of pentacles energy. There's somebody you want to collaborate with um, or, you know, link up with here. Three of pentacles energy is about wanting to team up, all right, needing some outside help. Some of you are asking for, uh, don't want to ask for help. You're being very guarded about the fact that you need assistance right now. You're not letting that be known, Okay. Eight of Swords, Nine of Cups in reverse. A lot of you have a lot of issues. Um, Leos, I, this is very cliche to say that Leos have pride here. But um, this pride, all right, not being able to ask for what it is that you need or not opening up about what you want to do or who you want to work with here is creating this mental prison with this Eight of Swords energy. They're telling you, <coughs> you got Page of Cups, Six of Swords, Fool in reverse here. Like, um, there's a conversation that needs to be had, an emotional one with somebody. There's a, a new start here. You you don't know how to, like, have this conversation. Somebody's being very guarded about their feelings with you. Somebody would uh, look in the background, all right? There's Dorothy. Do you see what's in the background? She's sailing away from Stan. And look, she's got all the swords in front of her, all six of them. Usually there's two people in the boat also, or, or multiple people in the boat when you're sailing away with the Six of Swords. She's all by her damn self. She also looks very focused on something. Some of you guys, um, Knight of Pentacles, Chariot in Reverse here. You feel like this relationship lacks the ability to follow through to the end. You're not wanting to put in effort or take this, um, you know, Quickly move this forward. Six of Wands. Lovers in reverse. Somebody's not choosing another party because they don't feel like they understand them. They're not feeling like there's enough attention being paid here. If you're dealing with a Leo, if you're cross-watching for a Leo and you're not paying attention to them, like, good luck. You might as well Six of Swords it on out of there because that ain't going to work. I'm a Cancer Leo cusp. I need hella attention. <laughs> There's that Leo card, strength with the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, that's how they feel secure. Leo energy here. Someone's also lacking the courage to come forward and actually commit. Moon with the Knight of Wands in reverse. They're very confusing about their emotions with you. You never understand if this person is all the way there or like gone. Like, are they, are they in or are they out? Are they in or are they out? This person is constantly like hot, cold with you. They lack the strength to talk about their emotions. Justice. Seven of Pentacles. That situation that I was just talking about, all right? These are random messages to you guys. Take it as it resonates. Whatever this situation is, you're getting justice here. Seven of Pentacles. Someone is going to decide to put in more effort with you. Nine of Swords, Four of Cups in reverse. You've been like really overthinking this connection because you feel like you're being rejected here or somebody feels like they're being rejected. <coughs> Somebody's going to finally stop ignoring somebody's um, offer. Ten of Pentacles with the Six of Cups in reverse. And the King of Cups in reverse there with the Five of Wands. Ace of Pentacles is here, but there's some problems, Leo, before you get to that stable start with whatever this is. Six of Cups in reverse, Ten of Pentacles, King of Cups in reverse, Five of Wands. This person is very con um, conflicted here. They don't, um, they lack the ability to like be stable in a connection. It's too much work for them. Five of Wands is an annoying energy. They feel like, um, being committed to somebody is, is an annoying, all right? It feels like um, there's a weight around. I feel like this person feels like they have a weight around their neck. They avoid the talk about commitment at all costs here. This person, um, they show their emotions in a weird way. It's like not in a norm. I don't know, understand how, um, how I'm feeling this. Ace of Pentacles, King of Wands. 
Ace of Swords. They show their, you know, love through financial things, okay? Through material things. This person, um, I feel like they don't do a lot of talking here. Um, they're not very honest with you about their feelings, okay? But they like to throw money at a problem. Somebody here really likes to throw money at problems. The way that they fix things, King of Wands here, is to just throw a dollar at a hoe. <laughs> Eight of Cups here. Page of Pentacles, Hangman. Judgment. Those of you that have been waiting, all right, to have a discussion about, you know, where this relationship is going next, that is um, happening, all right? Y'all have been stuck in this hangman energy for a while here. Eight of Cups is here, okay? Eight of Cups is upright, though. And it's coming with judgment in the page, page of Pentacles. This is somebody making a conscious decision. I already explained Eight of Cups. It is walking away from love. When it's upright, though, I feel like that's a good thing, okay? Um, Because you're making, like, a conscious choice to know that you deserve better. You deserve Ten Cups. Someone's making the decision to demand their worth here with the Page of Pentacles and that um, Eight of Cups with Judgment. I feel like that's a good move, Leos, because it leads to Four of Wands, Two of Wands in reverse, Nine of Wands, Ace of Wands. Somebody starts to become very overprotective of this connection after that happens, okay? Um, they become very overprotective. They want to, like, lock this down, Four of Wands. It creates stability. Somebody demanding respect here creates stability. Temperance comes after that with the Four of Pentacles, Empress in Reverse. One of y'all, though, um, somebody needs to let go of control issues with this. Somebody has a tendency to like overly uh, be overly motherly to the other party in a way that you know can make this connection stagnant or the situation. Take it as it resonates. This does not have to be about love. Four of Pentacles, Temperance, Empress in Reverse, Queen of Swords in Reverse with the Tower and Death. That's that death energy, all right? So I'm going to pay a lot of attention to this one, that coyote spirit, that divine detour. You have tower with death and the queen of swords with the five of cups, Jesus. Whoever's going through a breakup right now, this is your message with the divine detour. Let it go, all right? This was supposed to be exiting for a reason. Trust in it, okay? You need to think about why this connection ended and don't point fingers at the other person. I'm not excusing anything they did, all right? I'm not pointing fingers at anybody. I'm just asking you, to, what did you learn from this? You need to figure out what you learned from this because the Hierophant came right after that with the King of Pentacles. If you figure out your lesson, like the Hierophant is here to teach you this lesson, if you figure out your lesson here, you're getting stability, okay? And a lot of it. Hey, guys, how are you guys doing? Hey, Skits. Girl, I have got to do your reading, all right? I do. I don't know what's going on with that. My kids started school and like my life is trash right now. <laughs> All right, Knight of Cups in reverse, Page of Swords in reverse here and the Sun. Someone is lying about what makes them happy. All right, High Priestess in reverse. Someone's telling themselves like dumb like Rose Nyland here. Oh my God, this is amazing. I'm so excited. But that's all a lie. All right, Page of Swords, Knight of Cups in reverse, High Priestess in reverse. Somebody's going after something because it feels really good right now. But in all actuality, like the reality of the situation is this is a terrible move. This is going to teach you a lesson, world with the Ace of Cups in reverse. Getting into some kind of relationship that is like, um, I'm not going to say beneath you, okay, but that you know is wrong for you. Uh, you're going to learn that lesson in a real hard way here. Somebody be, uh, Somebody's not doing their Chiron retrograde homework. They're going after something, you know, yep, Queen of Wands in reverse, Ten of Wands in reverse, Three of Cups in reverse. Childish behavior, all right? Somebody's upset that they can't be with the person they want, so they're acting in this real chaotic Queen of Wands energy. They're jumping into this other connection to try to, you know, make it seem like they're very happy. They're not, all right? They are not at all. This is how they get control of that situation. Emperor, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups in reverse. The fact of the matter is what they really want is for something to come out of your connection here. But um, Queen of Cups in reverse, there's like uh, something's going on emotionally between the two of y'all that I'm not a big fan of. I don't clarify these when I do this. I just kind of see it as it is. Let me try to pop my chat up here again. I don't know why it's like not showing me anything. There we go. Let me see if that works. 
Yeah, we're doing super chat. $20, I'll get to the bottom of your story just like I'm doing for Leo and all that. I don't know if the info's in the description box. Let me check. I think, yep, it's in the description box. So, seven of swords in reverse, two of pentacles in reverse, king of swords. Those of you who have been thinking that your partner's been cheating on you, you're going to find out whether or not it's true. All right, the king of swords is here. Like, you're going to get to the bottom of it. You're going to figure it out. Either way, like the anxiety surrounding the situation, the energy of that is leaving you. I can't tell you which way it pans out. I'm guessing it, they are, okay? Because I see two of cups with six of pentacles in reverse, along with the two of swords in reverse, which means there's a whole lot of love here, but there's um, a lot of energy of I'm forced to go another way and pack up my stuff. I just heard to the left, to the left, Beyonce, you must not know about me. Look up that song, Page of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse with the Hermit. I'm telling you, and there's the Eight of Wands. Watch your mouths, okay? <laughs> um, a lot of y'all have that wound in Gemini, all right? The wound of communication, all right? The wound of words is what it's called, that Chiron wound. A lot of y'all are, um, Leo season is triggering this uh, argument, all right? I see an argument coming in for some of y'all Leos. This is the Wheel of Fortune coming in to test you to see if you've done this hermit work, if you've learned your lesson about, you know, popping off, basically. Ten of Swords in reverse. Because whoever I'm talking to, when you um, end something, you go for the throat. They're bringing this energy in again, something that's going to trigger you, that's going to make you want to um, get in that Ten of Swords in reverse, that real hateful energy. All right. Thank you so much for the super chats, you guys. Love it. Magician in reverse, three of swords in reverse, five of swords in reverse, devil in reverse, Jesus. Four of swords in reverse. Yeah, a lot of y'all are not thinking, okay? You're not thinking before you um, make a move here with whatever this is. This is a big Chiron lesson for some of you Leos that are watching right now. A five of, yep, five of pentacles with the seven of cups. This is a lesson in how to be single and take rejection. The five of pentacles is here and that creates all this, you know, that this is being abandoned, ghosted, whatever. And this creates seven of cups energy where you're very effing confused about what's going on here emotionally. So you start making these poor choices instead of doing the four of swords. I told one of, I, one of these messages, I said, you need to figure out what you learned from this. Like, what was your part in this? How could, um, what, what can we learn? What can we take from this? How do we not repeat this pattern? Y'all aren't doing that. You're four of swords in reverse. You're not taking your time out. When you suffer a loss, all right, or a breakup or a heartbreak, whatever, financial loss, anything, a setback, you need to stop and pause, okay? Because that loss is a ten of swords. It's the end of a cycle. When the, and there's a small space. I was reading today. I, Y'all, it might, it might have been Vinny Taro, and I dog them all the time. It was talking about aces, all right? And that aces are the space in between when you inhale and exhale, you barely know it's there, but there's like infinite possibilities of how things could go. And you, um, this bad situation is a 10 energy. It's an ending. It's meant to teach you something. This is a very hurtful one. Devil, magician in reverse, three of swords. This was a manipulative, like narcissist type vibe here. Um, you're getting very triggered by whoever this is. And you're not thinking before you engage with this person. And there's a lot of foolery that I pick up with these um, energies here. I mean, look at Blanche. A lot of foolery, okay? Okay. <laughs> Don't do it. You need to learn how to be single. Nine of Pentacles, star in reverse. You have not mastered that, all right? Being alone. Leos, y'all get a bad rap for, you know, wanting all the attention. Like, but this Leo does, okay? You don't need constant reassurance or attention. Ten of Cups in reverse with the Three of Wands, all right? That deal, this wound, all right, the star came out very close to the end here. It has to deal with family and, like, being completely accepted by the family, a lot of you guys have that wound like I have. It's um the one, it's in Taurus. I think mine, mine's Taurus in the 11th house. And it has to deal with um never being able to feel like you're doing good enough, all right? This is more like um feeling like you can't just be on your own. It's a very codependent energy that somebody needs to fix. But the good news is, you know, the final message was three of wands. There is movement, all right? There is travel. There is... Um, there's movement, all right? I'm into it. That's what I got for my Leos. But then I'm going to pull you these um, Gypsy Oracles real fast to see if we can just get a couple more messages. And that takes care of the Golden Girls deck, so I'll put that one away. Let's see. What does my Gypsy Oracle have for my Leos? 
What messages does the Gypsy Oracle have for the Leos? That's a lot. All right. It has to be an odd number or I can't fuck with it. I, I don't like even numbers. Is there like a scientific term for that? I have like a phobia of even numbers. It's weird. I set my thermostat, my radio dial, my volume. Everything has to be at an odd number or I feel uncomfortable. And this is eight. So that means I need another one. Nine. All right, we've got room, cheerfulness, friend, reunion, thought, messenger, wedding, doctor, and old woman. I got a couple messages here, okay? A lot of y'all have been, this thought card fell here with reunion, cheerfulness, and doctor and messenger. You guys are waiting on news, all right? Especially communication. Some of you are literally dealing with like a medical situation, like you are waiting on test results or something like that. Do you see this? And this woman looks kind of worried getting this letter. This man is racking his brain about this and there's a little doctor there talking to somebody. Um, because the cheerfulness card fell right above that, and this room right here looks very sunny and cheerful and all that. And friends are bringing flowers. A lot of y'all have people in the hospital, especially an old woman. Um, I feel like there's a peaceful resolution to whatever this is. All right. Somebody's been racking their brain about this, just wanting uh, wanting answers or wanting um, a, a, a conclusion. All right. A lot of y'all too. All right. I get big three of cups energy from this pull, Leo. Lots of gatherings. All right, we have reunion, wedding, and cheerfulness all here with friends. Some of you Leos are literally like partying, all right, big time. There's like a, a lot going on here. The uh, This room card, all right, that falls at the top of your reading. A lot of y'all need to pay more attention to your home. I feel like this is also for these Leos that have been out partying a lot. Like your home is missing you. Like you're neglecting your home. This home looks very empty, okay? Also, a lot of you have an old woman at home who's waiting for you to come and talk to them. She's sitting in her chair. I feel like it's like this. Thanks for the 10, BB. Um, they're sitting here alone, all right? They're waiting for a reunion. They're waiting on somebody. Somebody needs to go visit Nana, all right? Big time. Somebody's Nana is missing them or grandparent. There's an old woman, though, that is waiting for somebody to come and see them. They need cheerfulness. They need a reunion to get back in this cheerfulness energy, okay? I get that this person might be in a nursing home. All right, guys. That's what I got for my Leos. Let me bust out these super chats real fast. Hey, uh, hey, baby. Hey, Spaldo. Oh my God, the aqua, you already know he's up to no good, boo. Did you watch the Libra reading? Psh. Let me get these supers. All right, first one. Colleen. Love. I'm gonna get to the bottom of your story in love. And I'm going to use the uh, deck that I just used because that's the energy that we were on. So let's get to the bottom of it. Oh, that one fell out in love. Seven of Wands. Somebody's being really guarded, especially about bringing an offer to you. Right now, you feel like things are going super slow in the love department. It's like the, um, there's a need to stop thinking so hard about it. Six of Swords and then Six of Wands here. If you stop mentally, you know, torturing yourself about whatever this is, somebody will come in and, you know, think that you're a prize right here. Lovers in reverse with the Fool in reverse. You've been making poor choices in love, jumping into things without really thinking about them. Page of Cups. Hell yeah, you spill your emotions too quickly. Eight of Swords, Nine of Cups in reverse. That has to deal with some kind of a codependency issue. That's mental for you, all right? This is a mental prison you create for yourself. Three of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords in reverse and Justice. You, um, you make, you don't get all the information that you need before you invest in other people or before you get in, uh, before you get into relationships. You need to do yourself justice here. Seven of Pentacles with the Moon and the Knight of Wands in reverse. It's like a, I'm getting a energy like a magpie for you see something shiny and you go for it. All right, if somebody stirs your passion, you know, it gets you very confused and you start investing here. They're asking you for strength, Queen of Pentacles. Summon up the strength here to, you know, be stable, be independent, be on your own. Five of Wands, Nine of Swords. 
Four of Cups in reverse. There's an offer that either you've been given or that you're trying to give to somebody else. You're, you've been having a lot of anxiety about it. I feel like um, there's a lot of conflict between the two of you. Uh, I don't feel like that's letting up. I feel like this person is going to keep ignoring that. They're ignoring it, though. Four of Wands with the King of Cups in reverse and the Two of Wands in reverse. For whatever reason, like, they don't see this as an option right now. There's something wrong with them, though. Nine of Wands with the Ace of Wands. Something's on their mind, all right, that um, keeps them, prevents them from being in this connection. I see the Ace of Wands, though, as a spark of passion. It's like something that gets you fired up. I feel like they're going to figure this out, and I feel like that's after you disconnect, okay? Because I show Eight of Cups there. Like, you're realizing that you deserve more here. And then here comes a Page of Pentacles with Judgment. Ace of Swords in reverse, Hangman. <coughs> It's like you're going to start um, cutting things off or seeing things more clearly here. You haven't been recently. <clears throat> if you cut off whoever this King of Wands, though, is, there's the Ace of Pentacles coming for you, and that's beautiful. Six of Cups in reverse, though. You need to let go of somebody from the past <clears throat> because that right in the middle of this Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles is the Six of Cups in reverse. <clears throat> <clears throat> that's not good energy, all right? <clears throat> That is um, the energy of somebody like having a really bad taste in their mouth regarding a relationship or um, some childhood traumas that need to be dealt with, something like that. Sorry, guys. I've been like coughing stuff up all day. All right. This Ace of Pentacles, though, this offer coming in for you, you got to get rid of whatever that Six of Cups nonsense in the middle is. Emperor with the Eight of Pentacles. This person is going to want to stay around with you forever. Eight of Pentacles. Watch something grow. You got Queen of Cups and Queen of Wands in reverse, though, with the Ten of Wands in reverse. They're gonna, not, they're gonna be the kind of person with Three of Cups. They're gonna be the kind of person that um, they don't make you feel crazy. All right, I feel like a lot of people have told you that you're overly emotional or that um, you're um, hard to deal with. This person is not going to think you're a burden. Three of Cups with the world. It could be somebody from your past here, but I just get more of there, that. There's a marriage and there's an end to this love cycle for you. And like, she looks like she's getting an Oscar, like a trophy. Ace of Cups in reverse and the sun. But yeah, you got to um, stop turning, pretending that things make you happy here. High Priestess in reverse. A lot of times you're just looking for an Ace of Cups and you jump into things like like dumb little rose here. Uh, Page of Swords in reverse and then the Knight of Cups in reverse. You don't have all the information yet and you move towards it anyways. Hierophant, King of Pentacles here. Very stable energy here. That's a lesson that you need to learn. You should only enter into connections with like Kings of Pentacles. People who are solid, where you know what you're getting. Queen of Swords in reverse and the Tower. If you're not honest with yourself about stuff like this and cut out um, negative energies and people that are cold on you, all right, then there's a tower moment coming that brings death, five of cups in reverse, temperance. You got to go through this heartbreak, all right? I feel like this is somebody that you haven't let go of yet. When you let go of them, all right, you get a beautiful transformation here with death, which is a rebirth. You get over whatever this energy of the five of cups being torn up about it. You get some balance with temperance. Four of pentacles is here, empress in reverse, eight of wands. Hold on, um, get rid of your need to control the conversation here or force a conversation. Um, stop trying to fix whatever this is. I don't know what I'm picking up on, but there's something that you've been trying to fix. You've been talking a lot about it, all right? You need to let go of that. You're holding on to that energy too much and it's causing things to be stagnant for you. Page of Wands with the Hermit. Yeah, when you let that go, there's some passionate communication coming in because Spirit sees that you've done some healing. Um, here's what I feel like. They're gonna test you again with something that looks very much like the Two of Cups, but it's really the Two of Swords in reverse and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, that's ugly energy, all right? It's Wheel of Fortune in reverse with Six of Pentacles in reverse. It's someone else coming in to test you that's not gonna pull their weight here, that's not gonna give equally. They want you to see that as the King of Swords and then Two of Pentacles in reverse, cut it out, get rid of it. Three of Wands, get away from it. It is not the Ten of Cups. This is gonna prevent your healing, okay? If you stay single, Nine of Pentacles, you reject that devil here. Devil with the Magician, this person is like very, very sneaky, okay? You're dodging a heartbreak with that. Five of Swords in reverse, you're not willing to engage in any like ridiculous, you know, cutthroat, uh, manipulative behavior anymore. Ten of Swords in reverse, you're extra deading that, okay? You end up with Five of Pentacles, all right, and the Seven of Cups. Being alone is confusing to you. Don't let it be. That's what you need to be working on, Cairo Retrograde. Um, what... What's with the emotional confusion when we have to sit with ourselves, all right? That's what I got for you, boo-boo, Miss Colleen. Nadia, you get three cards. Will you pass your licensing exam this week? Girl, I failed the bar exam my first time by two damn points. Had to go take it again. 
and then I crushed it. Is Nadia going to pass her licensing exam this week? We do have this Trust in Divine Detours here card sitting here, and I don't know why I just looked at it when I was about to do your stuff, but girl, don't even sweat it. It doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things whether or not you pass. Two of Pentacles, Ten of Wands in reverse, Three of Cups. Hell yeah, I think you're going to pass. Seven of Pentacles in reverse here. Death and rebirth. There you go. You're no longer, I feel like you don't have to put into the, you know, learning the test part anymore. And then death, rebirth, you're getting a new start with something. One cycle's ending, another one is beginning. So yes, I feel like you're doing something new here. Two of Pentacles here in the recent past. I feel like you were sort of confused. What's going on? Is this going to happen for me? Ten of Wands in reverse here. You're dropping that energetic burden and you end up with Three of Cups, which is like, look at you and your girlfriend celebrating. I feel like when you do pass, there's going to be some people wanting to take you out for a party. It's going to be a hella party, okay? That's what I got for you, Miss Nadia. You Spaldo. What's your aqua doing? Boo. Let's see. Trust in those divine detours. I'm saying it. I'm looking at whoever asked for their personals under this oracle. <laughs> Block stuff is protection from spirit. He don't want to talk ever, you Spaldo. Four of Cups. Sitting at home pouting, ignoring his gifts as usual. He's in a real emo energy tonight, though. I feel like he's in his feels tonight for some reason. King of Wands. Three of Cups in reverse. Getting a little agitated, all right, by the fact that this, um, something's not working out the right way. There's Three of Swords, too. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Swords. He's in deep thought here. Magician, Page of Cups in reverse. Still can't talk about his feelings the right way. I feel like um, if he's with somebody right now, all right, I'm showing him in a connection here, like a King of Wands with a Queen of Pentacles. Um, Someone's not real thrilled about how unstable the other party is. I don't feel like this is you, though. I feel like I'm picking up on his connection here. There's some financial issues, uh, drama here. Also, three of cups in reverse. Boo, that's drinking, all right? That's partying. That's um over-celebrating. And that's leading to some heartbreak. Somebody's out, you know, getting drunk, all right? One of them. Somebody's like, I feel like somebody's out late partying while the other person is, like, sitting at home, okay? One person's, like, sitting here like this, and the other ones are out like that, all right? Somebody feels very alone right now, either him or his partner, if he's in one. I can't remember if that's the one that was in the connection or not. Magician. Page of Cups in reverse. He's trying to manifest like a new love relationship, but it's not an honest one again. All right, Jenna. Uh, past ex Sag and you regarding your daughter. She's doing six days. Still no contact. Girl, mine's about to be 11 months and I still have no contact other than CPS telling me that 100% he is the father, and they had child support this week. How will August be in general once you inform him of her arrival? All right, girl, let me see. Trust in the divine detours. How to say it to you. There's a reason that these men were removed from our children's lives. Don't doubt it, all right? Queen of Wands in reverse. Three, three of Cups. There's the reunion, all right? There's y'all coming back together. We've got Queen of Wands, Four of Wands. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Double queens in reverse, boo-boo. But you're learning a spiritual lesson that's going to make you more stable. Fool, you're doing it alone, all right? Six of wands in reverse. There's no win here. There's no victory. He's not going to, you know, see this as a time to celebrate here. He's not. This baby coming, this three of cups, three of cups is a party celebration, birth, whatever. It's a happy event, all right? Center of everything, four of wands. For you, energetically, this baby grounds the hell out of you. And this baby is going to teach you a spiritual lesson. But look, you're doing it alone, all right? You're not, not alone. I'm not going to say alone. You're doing it with the Hierophant. It's Sophia here, all right? My people, all right? Picture it. Sicily, 1955. <laughs> all right? There's a wise old Italian woman or one of your ancestors watching you, all right? A, they think you're a fool, but they're going to protect you anyways, all right? They, I feel like they didn't want you to get in this connection to begin with. Moon in reverse. Girl, this is only getting more confusing. Temperate yourself. 
Three of Pentacles in reverse, not working on here. Judgment's coming after that, though. He's going to get his with the Ten of Swords, and it's going to be painful. Painful, all right? That's what I got for you, boo-boo. Don't stress it. You can do it. I'm a mess, and I can do it, so you can do it. Charisma, $20. Let's get to the bottom of you and your cancer. Let's see here. What's going on with your cancer? Should you bail? Well, we just went through a full moon, so your cancer was probably a hot mess. <laughs> Cancers are hard, y'all. I am a cancer, all right? July 21st, right in the smack middle of the cancer Leo cusp. I'm extra. Cancers, I swear to God, our mood changes by the day, depending on what sign the moon is in and what phase it's in. Catch me on a new moon, and I'm a totally different person than on a full moon. I'll tell you that. I don't even mean to be. I don't even need to look at the sky or the calendar. I just feel the energy in those times. All right, what's at the bottom of the story for the Cancer? Hey, everybody. We're getting to the bottom of everyone's stories here. What's at the bottom of this? Queen of Cups in reverse. I mean, that's like a lack of mutual love. I don't know why I keep shuffling these here. I'm going to do the whole thing for the bottom of you. One of you showing King of Pentacles, one of you showing Queen of Cups in reverse. There's the Ace of Wands, Temperance in reverse, Tower in reverse. Something's got to give here. Queen of Swords, lots of Queen, uh, two Queens showing up already. Sun in reverse. This is not happy, all right? Energetically, this is messy. Five of Wands, Seven of Swords. Somebody is lying, all right? Somebody is sneaking around cheating foolishly with a bimbo, all right? But they're about to like walk off a damn cliff with this. There's the Knight of Wands. Yeah, with the higher fan in reverse. They're not being committed. They're not learning spiritual lessons. Somebody's running from a spiritual lesson between the two of you. Three of Swords in reverse. High Priestess. So, yeah, like somebody's very intuitive. They already know that Five of Pentacles and the Three of Swords is here. That this is like um, lacking emotion, lacking um, stability here. Somebody's feeling very left out. You need to start listening to your intuition. You're not. Somebody is not. Queen of Wands with the King of Swords in reverse. Your passion or um, your pride, um, Queen of Wands is um, very Leo energy, okay? You don't tell her no. Somebody does not like hearing no here. Somebody's being very dishonest, all right? King of Swords in reverse. And that makes somebody, you know, get very triggered. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Page of Cups. Y'all have a huge communication issue, all right? Especially regarding other people involved in your connection. I don't know what that means, all right? It's a third party. I don't pick up necessarily a cheating vibe. Although I do see some sneaky behavior, I feel like this is different. This is like another person butting their nose in that doesn't belong there. That's causing um, arguments with y'all that I don't like. Emperor in reverse here. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Swords in reverse. Eight of Cups. All right. The, it's time to walk, all right? You deserve more than what you're getting. Eight of Cups is great, but you deserve ten. You need to make the spiritual choice here, all right? You are, it's like, oh, there's so much ignoring intuition and so much stagnancy within this and so much control issues. Let go of your control issues. Four of Wands for you comes with Ace of Cups in reverse. Reject this, all right? You have to do some healing by yourself. Nine of Cups, figure out what you actually want for yourself. I don't think this is it, all right? I feel like if you were honest with yourself, you would realize, yeah, you can't get it out of your head. You're, you can't get unstuck, all right? That this is your Ace of Pentacles, that this is a fresh, you know, abundant start for you. But I think that's BS. I feel like Nine of Wands, Five of Swords here, Empress in reverse. In all honesty, all right? This is too much work. This is too much effort. You don't feel like this is here forever or whatever. Like um, you're tired of mothering this person or having to do all the work here. And you're in five of swords energy here, which is a petty energy. Or like you'll do you know, like stuff to, that harms you, okay, just so you can win. Uh, who cares if you win with this person? If they want to walk, let them walk. Judgment is here with the two of cups, lovers in reverse. The decision is being made, all right, about this soulmate connection and it's lovers in reverse. Seven of cups, wheel of fortune is here. This, like, rejection feeling that you're having is getting you super confused, but it's, you know, fate testing you. Here's your Chiron lesson, all right? You got to demand what you, you refuse to demand what you want, all right? You've got Knight of Cups. You're very emotional, but you're not real clear on your boundaries with this person, and you need to be. I feel like you give a lot more than you're getting from this. Nine of Swords in Reverse, Three of Pentacles. You stop collaborating with them. You get out of this anxiety. This two of pentacles energy of you juggling this other person right here, you need to drop that burden. There's devil energy after that with a star in reverse. This is keeping you unstable. You're not able to get, you know, into this queen of pentacles energy with the page of pentacles where you can get a stable offer from a stable partner. This is your cycle here. Four of pentacles. You're hanging on too tight to this person. Let it go. If they come back to you, it's yours. It's so cliche, but it's true. 
Page of Wands with the Hangman, Seven of Pentacles. After, you, there's like, somebody comes in out of nowhere, I feel like, or they do, one or the other. There's an energy, though, of like, um, out of nowhere, a period of uh, real separation here, Hangman. Hangman doesn't energetically connect to anybody. When you completely disconnect from this person, somebody gets real fired up about wanting to come back and invest in this. They get up the courage, strength, Eight of Wands in reverse, Ten of Cups in reverse, Six of Swords in reverse. They can't get away from the fact that they rejected this. All right, there's a conversation here about like, what did I do? All right, I was stupid to not defend this. Strength, that you know, I get a mother lion energy. King of Cups with the Two of Wands in reverse. No one's, they're not confused anymore. Someone's getting a hold of their emotions. Five of Cups in reverse, Two of Swords in reverse. You gotta let them go though, all right? Then, then you get what you deserve. They either finally pay attention to you the way that you've been wanting them to, or somebody else comes in and does that. But the what you're manifesting right now with this person, this is you know based on codependency, it feels like. There's a need for you to disconnect. Three of wands here. Chariot, quickly, all right? You need a victory. You need to protect yourself. Chariot, energy, cancer, crab, protect yourself. Shell, four of cups in reverse. Quit offering, you know, quit. You, I feel like you're starting a lot of conversations here. Ace of swords with four of cups in reverse. And you're getting the same effort and it's none, all right? They're very guarded when they talk to you. There's like, um, you're speaking all these truths and putting yourself out there and they're just not even talking to you about it at all. Justice with the moon, four of swords, king of wands. You just quit pursuing it, all right? Four of swords, you need to be on a timeout until your emotions calm down about this because that's when you receive justice. I feel like your emotions are clouding your judgment regarding this person. Trust in that divine detour. You're in seven energy, all right? Which is, you know, not a great energy to be in. All right, who do we have after that? Charisma, that was you. Three card pull for Shoya. You're wondering if someone will come into your life to commit to you soon, all right? Three cards for Shoya. Are we getting to see a commitment soon? Four of cups in reverse. Um, you might not see it coming, all right? Keep your eyes peeled, all right? If it is coming, it's coming out of nowhere. You might miss it. Also, if you've been offering something to somebody and you feel like um, they haven't noticed you or um, paid attention, they're noticing that. Seven of Pentacles, yeah, there is somebody that wants to invest. Let me have your third card here. What do we have? What's this about? Justice, hell yeah, you do, all right? And the Page of Pentacles, girl, that's solid, all right? Page of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles. This person wants to talk about it. They do it in the real world, all right? This is not just some phantom in their head or in their heart or in their loins. This is something they actually show up in the real life, Pentacle energy. And it's coming with justice, Page of Pentacles. But you got the devil and the star there and the Nine of Cups. Make sure, all right? Here's the deal, Four of Cups energy in the tarot. See this Ace of Cups that's in the sky here? And she's not even looking for it, all right? But this is like the Ace of Cups. You need to be in this Nine of Cups energy, okay, to receive it. That's my message for you. Make sure that you're in this Nine of Cups energy, which is knowing exactly what you want, all right? And um, being able to be a whole person before you get into a commitment. Because there is a good one coming. And girl, it is justice. I also feel like this person ha is good with money, all right? They have a lot of pentacles. And like Blanche is like... Look how happy. The, I feel like they, um, it's like almost like a trophy wife energy. And I'm not saying that, but it's like somebody that really likes to spoil their wife, all right? Really likes to spoil their wife. Might be a Libra or happen around Libra season. I also have Capricorn energy that I'm picking up on and strong earth. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn again. All right, Shoya, that was yours. Kiera, what's going on with your Capricorn? All right. And I have got to get onto another sign. Next sign. Let's call out the next sign. Next one I see pop up on my phone is the one I'm doing. What sign do y'all want to hear next after I do this? What's up with the Capricorn for Kiera? Ten of Swords, Chariot in Reverse. It ain't going nowhere. All right, it's over. They're not moving. Seven of Pentacles, Devil. They've invested in some, you know, toxic behavior here. Four of Cups, I feel like they're ignoring this. They don't want to fix anything. They've got some you know, really big old uh, shitty lessons coming from Chiron. I'll tell you that right now. They've not you know, dealt with their devils. They've not done their healing here. 
they're not getting any victory in anything that they start off either right now because they've got some unfinished business with spirit that they need to be taken care of. Let's see here. Because that's all my supers? All right, sweet. All right. Next sign, the first one is Aqua. All right, Aquarius. Aquarius, you get the... I'm using 12 different decks tonight if you guys just joined us. First deck was the Golden Girls Tarot. And y'all, I must have 100 tarot decks. Y'all haven't even seen half of the ones that I have. But Aquas, what's at the bottom of your story? First of all, let's pull your animal oracle. I pre-shuffled those at the beginning. Watch your words, parrot spirit. I just picked up a big energy. A lot of y'all have people, um, little ears, all right? Watch what you're saying in front of your kids, okay? Also, watch who you're telling things to. Some people don't have your best interest at heart. Also, watch your temper. Three of Pentacles, Emperor, Page of Candles, Hermit in Reverse fell out. Let's get to the bottom of it, though. All right, first thing we have is this broken heart situation. We've got Five of Cups energy in the reverse. Wanting to move forward from something. I feel like you are taking charge of that, Aquarius, in this Emperor energy. You're tired of being broken up about this, okay? You're putting in some effort here with the Three of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. It's like you're getting fired up to talk about it. Hermit in reverse, though. There's still something you can't get past with this. Four of Cups in reverse. Queen of Cups. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Because I feel like emotionally you really don't want anything to come out of whatever this is. It's like, you know, uh, this is a situation I feel like you know there's like some kind of apology or something needed or something needs to be fixed. But like you're not emotionally invested in it anymore. Yeah, three of wands in reverse. You don't want to move towards them anymore. Five of swords in reverse because you feel like it's too much drama. Wheel of Fortune is coming with the world, though. Good God. Some of y'all are getting a very rough lesson from spirit during Chiron. Wheel in the world, all right? I'd, um, it's upright, so I'm not that scared. What is this about? I want some cards on what this is about. Seven of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. Moon in reverse. Ten of Swords. Three of Swords. Four of Swords. Think before you move towards whatever this is, Okay. There is a situation that you have the um, chance to get invested in with this Seven of Pentacles that turns out to be a Ten of Pentacles. It's a good move here. You're really confused, though, about really um, making a move quickly on this. It's like the energy of you're dragging your feet here. You're in Four of Swords energy when you need to be in Nine of um, uh, Knight of Wands energy. You need to be pursuing this with a passion because if you don't, I feel like it's going to end for you. There's like a very small window with this. I don't know why I'm getting that. Nine of Wands in reverse. Like you need to drop your guard with whatever this is. Six of Pentacles, Temperance in reverse. I feel like this has something to do with the past here. You should have invested more in whatever this is in the past or vice versa. Take it as it resonates. Somebody should have invested more in the past here and they did not. And this situation is very off balance. Two of Wands in reverse, King of Wands in reverse, Two of Pentacles. Someone's feeling energetically forced or pushed to come back and deal with this, um, wishy-washy energy y'all got going on knight of pentacles with the ace of wands somebody is getting very fired up though about putting in the effort to make this work for the long haul okay five of wands in reverse uh, i feel like this person was being really petty they were ignoring their intuition they were in devil energy high priestess in reverse and the um, five of wands in reverse they're coming out of that whoever this was was playing games with you all right um they were very secretive they um they caused a lot of drama here that's devil energy this brought sun in reverse to this connection they kept a lot hidden from you, whoever this is. A lot. High priestess in reverse, um, devil, sun in reverse. There was you could you never felt like you could quite understand um, what was going on with this person. They kept a lot in the shadows. Big Pisces energy coming for you guys. Justice with the star is here though. Fuck yeah, that's beautiful. Some of you guys need to speak up for yourselves, okay? I say what it is that you want because uh, Spirit's listening. You're going to get that, okay? Seven of uh, Wands here with the Queen of Pentacles. Y'all need to be very protective of your money, Aquarius. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. There's some kind of a surprise financial situation coming up. Page of Cups is after that. It's, it's not your end, the Page of Pentacles. You're not going to like that, all right? It's going to sting Queen of Swords in reverse. Six of Cups here. Um, Hangman in reverse. You're going to be stuck with whatever this is for a while, I feel like. Seven of Cups. This is going to cause some emotional confusion with the Eight of um, Swords in reverse here. It's going to be really hard to mentally detach from whatever this is. Knight of Swords. 
Six of Wands in reverse. Some of y'all are moving, you know, real fast away from places where you're not appreciated anymore. Um, you feel like uh, no one understands you right now in the position that you're in. Like, you feel like um, you're not being uh, noticed or recognized. You're not getting the accolades that you deserve, okay? If you're, I feel like this is a work situation I'm picking up on for you guys. You're making a swift exit out of a work situation because you're realizing, A, you hate it, all right? You know, B, it's not paying as much as it should, all right? They're depending on you more than uh, you're depending on them. Page of Swords in reverse. You never feel like you get clarity here. Ten of Wands in reverse. It's just becoming too much to bear. You're ready to get out of whatever this is. You got five of pentacles in reverse, though. You'd rather be broke than sit here in this energy anymore, all right? Ace of swords in reverse. At that time of night. You got, that's weird. Ace of swords in reverse. Two of one, um, two of swords in reverse. Hierophant in reverse. A lot of y'all are feeling, uh, somebody's, you know, failing to see the truth of something here. You've been put on a crossroads by spirit here. You've been some of y'all are very stuck right now. Okay, two of swords energy is like not understanding which way to go. You're needing to see the truth about something and make the higher spiritual choice here with that hierophant. Somebody's not doing something the right way and they need to. You're gonna remain stuck in this until you you know somebody fesses up. All right, somebody needs to speak the truth and do things the right way because that's causing um, a family or a home situation here. Ten of Cups in reverse, Magician in reverse, uh, a lot of sneaky energy and like some, um, it's causing a, a stagnation in this family connection. Eight of Wands here, the Four of Wands, yeah, that's that family situation. There's a, there's like some communication with the Queen of Wands, Six of Pentacles and the Chariot. Big Cancer energy, Cancer Leo energy. Somebody's like wanting to, somebody's demanding, all right, more respect, whatever this is, Aquarius. Like they're, um, they're asking for more effort here. I feel like they have good intentions. I do feel like they want to, um, work whatever this is out, but they're feeling like this is not, um, not a stable connection. It's either you or them. Take it as it resonates. Knight of Cups with strength, Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's putting an effort in a situation with you that you thought was dead here. They're coming back as a king of pentacles. I don't feel like they, they were empress in reverse before that. This person, like, they didn't put in any effort before. Now they're coming forward. They're having the strength to come forward and actually, you know, say how they feel and say that they want to, you know, watch something happen. I feel like you've already been with this person. You thought it was over. They're coming back better, all right? I'm back in. I'm better. <laughs> that Bryson Tiller song just came into my head. You got tower with the two of um, potions in reverse, which is the two of cups in reverse. Those of y'all who are hanging on, yeah, Ace of Cups, Three of Cups in reverse, hold up, Lovers, and the Fool. Some of y'all are making a <laughs> judgment, Jesus Christ. I always say this in my readings, all right? The tarot, I, I'm, I like, my lawyer brain with the tarot gets me sometimes, all right? Justice is when you're on trial by the universe because you're um, not, like, they're wanting to test you to see if you've learned your lesson. So they bring in some kind of like karmic justice type situation where you're, you know, they're testing you to see if you make the right decision. Judgment is when they make the decision on whether or not you pass that test. You're not. You literally show up as the fool with this and the lovers. You're making some foolish relationship choice. Um, you're offering the Ace of Cups to a like karmic soulmate type energy here. And you're getting this um, power moment with that. King of Cups here. with The Six of Swords nine of swords in reverse yeah you need to give up on that one king of swords in reverse something's clouding your judgment with this person seven of swords in reverse you're you're like ignoring red flags all right that was your final message quit ignoring the red flags okay watch your words i'm telling you um this last energy that i picked up on you that uh king of swords in reverse with the seven of swords in reverse that is somebody who would literally like steal your ideas out of your head if you're talking about some kind of project or idea or a lot of y'all, uh, if it's something new that somebody else could take from you, really watch who you're saying that to, all right? I don't feel like um, you should be disclosing all that stuff, Aquas. Let's see what the Gypsy Oracle has for you, and then I will get to the supers. Alrighty, Shoya, I did yours. Kiera, I did yours. Let's see, so we just got Minerva. All right, what's the um, Gypsy Oracle messages for Aquarius? There's one. Y'all know I gotta have an odd number. <laughs> There's one service. 
fortune. Surprise in reverse. I'm going to take it. Mm -hmm. I usually don't read those in reverse. Pleasure seekers in reverse. Gift in reverse. <laughs> Y'all, the universe is funny. Young women, young woman, widower, constancy, hope, all right? Have hope, Aquarians. Watch your words here. That was on your other thing. A lot of y'all are, um, mm -hmm. a lot of y'all are getting a surprise, all right? And it has to do, <laughs> it turns out it's like a gift, okay? But it's like, a, I don't feel like it's a gift that you want. I don't know why. A lot of y'all are making some really foolish choices when you're drunk, all right? There's a, it's going to be a real expensive surprise, whatever that is, all right? Do you see that gift there? But look, I mean, it says good in the bag, if you can see that. It's like you're looking for one thing and you end up finding something else here. I feel like it is out when you're um, out partying. A lot of y'all have gone through some kind of a death moment. We've got young woman, widower, and constancy here. The only thing constant is change. I don't know why I need to tell you that. You got fortune here along with service. A lot of y'all are feeling very pulled right now to like do acts of service. I feel like that is in your best benefit right now. It, you doing service, all right, leads to fortune, all right? You being the humanitarian Aquarian that you are and looking out for others, okay, leads to some kind of good fortune for you here. There's a, a situation I feel like where, I don't know why I get this. I, I, somebody's missing a mother figure here and they need constancy in their life, all right? Or a parent, whatever. There's a widower here, widow, widower, whatever. And then there's a young woman energy and then constancy falls like right in between it, okay? There's like a child or a younger person, somebody younger than you that needs a mentor at this moment, I feel like. They're feeling a loss of some kind of a parental energy or um, just feeling kind of like, like there's nobody there for them. I feel like you um, have something to do with being able to help that person. All right. All right. So if you want your personals done with the Nightmare Before Christmas deck, all right, now is the time to get those super chats and all that good stuff in. All right. That was the Aqua read. All right, Minerva, you're first. Your three card. Am I moving on from my Virgo for good? What can I get for her? If y'all want your nightmare card uh, reading, this is the last chance to get those. And then I'm switching decks for the next sign. Let me get three cards for Minerva. I don't want you to know, girl. There's one. Emperor in reverse. You don't have any control over what happens here. I just want you to know that. Also, if you're trying to do anything to make this person stay or to like um, manipulate this situation, don't. You need to let go of control here. Ride out this Chiron retrograde. There's your other cards. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Knight of Wands in reverse. Yep, I think it is. All right. But then there's Three of Cups, Judgment in reverse. King of Swords. The good news is, all right, I do feel like... Bad news, I think it's over for now. I think this person's checked out. They're no longer like um, the Emperor with the Ten of Pentacles. They're the reverse of that. And then not only that, but they're Knight of Wands. They're like chaotic. They're fleeing out of here. But, um... I feel like that this is a poor decision here. This is somebody being tested by the universe. They're making the wrong judgment call here. This will come back. I feel like three of cups, king of swords, seven of swords, four of wands. Um, someone's finding out about some um, shady behavior that went on here. I feel like someone's either coming clean about it or, or someone's just like gaining this knowledge. Whatever that is though, okay? There is a queen of wands in reverse there. I do feel like it's a cheating situation or whatever. Whatever this clarity is that's gained with that, all right, it, it allows you to be in the four of wands energy where you're feeling more stable about the situation. So the good news is, is like you'll be getting your footing back after this. I can't tell if it's coming back or not. I'd have to do like a full read on that. Three cards is hard. Uh, I don't think it's for good. I saw three of cups. I feel like it will come back around. Miss T. Oh, thank you. I'm doing get to the bottom of your stitch. I was doing the whole dang deck, all right? All right, what's at the, um, let me get some shuffles here for Miss T. I gotta do them quick, y'all, because these take a minute. Miss T, what's your story? Nightmare Before Christmas Tarot, all right? 
Now is the time to get those super chats in. All right, what is at the bottom of your story here? Three of Wands, all right, with the Five of Wands and the Lovers in Reverse, King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. Um, I feel like you're doing a good job moving away from the bullshit here, all right? I feel like you're rejecting. You're making a lot of um, tough decisions with this energy. It makes you feel kind of ungrounded. You feel like you need these things in your life, but you don't. Knight of Swords here, like you have the clarity with the King of uh, Cups. You're becoming very clear about some love situations, all right, or someone else's. They're com yeah, they're coming out of Seven of Cups energy into the King of Cups. They're getting control of their emotions and reaching some clarity. Emperor in reverse, Nine of Wands energy. Someone's being way too stingy or rigid here. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Someone's like standing their ground way too hard. Eight of Swords in reverse. Someone needs to get out of that energy. Um, they're thinking too much about it. Four of Swords in reverse, Death in reverse, Empress in reverse, Magician in reverse. This is calling a, causing a failure to manifest, whatever this is. There's no growth or rebirth happening in this situation because someone is trying to have way too much control. They don't like the way that it's going. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Cups in reverse, Ten of Wands. Watch your emotions regarding your finances, all right? Don't, in, um, don't do any, like, I don't know why I just said this. Don't um, do any retail therapy I'm getting for you. You got the sun with the six of swords. There's something you're mentally going to disconnect from, okay? It's a spiritual lesson that you've not learned yet. It's going to take a lot of strength to get over that. It is an emotional situation with the knight of wands and the knight of cups here. Six of pentacles. It's like somebody getting very triggered because they're not getting like... Um, they're, um, the energy is very off balance between the two of you. Someone's speaking their truth about how tired of that they are. All right, um, you're tired of having to be in five of pentacles feeling like you have nothing and that nobody's helping you out. Somebody is coming to help you out though and I feel like it's somebody you already know here. Four of cups in reverse with the eight of pentacles, the two of cups. They have a lot of love for you here. Ace of wands in reverse, hangman in reverse. You haven't been in contact with them for a really long time. Judgment in reverse, you thought it was over. The wheel is coming with the page of um, cups though. There's a faded connection coming your way or a really emotional conversation that spirit is bringing to you for some reason. It is going to confuse you, okay? <clears throat> it shows up like there should be a tower moment coming with whatever this is. And that you're trying to present it, uh, prevent it. Tower with the world in reverse. This is a big spiritual lesson you need to learn. I think it's about more about take... Girl, you like take on way too much here. <coughs> <coughs> you're accepting too much responsibility for other people's stuff and you're like happy to do it. This is causing you to miss out on some of your blessings because you're dealing with other people's energy and garbage. Seven of Swords there. Devil in reverse. Four of Wands. There's some kind of... um. What is this? Three of Cups. Watch somebody coming back from your past, all right? Somebody that you were in a real big commitment with. This person's energy is showing up. Devil, King of Wands in reverse, and the King of Swords in reverse. They're um not in a great energy. Three of Swords. They're in a lot of pain right now. Three of Pentacles. They're looking for a handout, all right? <clears throat> this person, um, they're coming in hot and they're coming in lying, all right? Be very careful. They're attached to dental, devil energy. Two of Wands, Seven of Pentacles here, along with the Nine of Swords in reverse. Um, there's a lot of options for you to invest in some things coming up. If you've been worried about money, all right? Yeah, work, something about work has not been going right or something's been real confusing about work. That's clearing up for you, all right? I feel like there's a lot of options coming financially for you. Ten of Swords, start in reverse. There's an end to some painful, you know, cycle here for you. I do think it has to deal with love, possibly with a cancer. It's being slowed down for you or it's being um, removed or um, you're being protected from it. Uh, it's not, something's not allowing you to invest in that anymore. Eight of Cups in reverse. You, you, don't, you won't leave it yourself, that's why. Seven of Wands in reverse. You won't drop it, Queen of Swords, but you need to. Six of Wands in reverse here because they don't see you for who you are. Five of Cups, they ignore you. There's a need for you to get into this full energy. But you like, um, your intuition is telling you that it's too hard to start over here or it's too hard to, um, that's Hermit in reverse, all right? Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Page of Swords. You keep telling yourself, all right, that it's, um, there's something you're telling yourself is never gonna finish here. I don't know what this is. You're like, we're never going to get to where we want to go with this, or this is never going to play out the way I want it to. It will, though. Ten of Pentacles. you got to remove your emotions from that situation. Nine of Cups. Like, um, uh, remove your expectations, I'm, say I'm feeling with that. 
temperance in reverse, two of swords, seven of wands in reverse. The way you um, temper your situation, bring yourself back into balance here. You need to stay, uh, take a stop fixing other people's stuff, all right? I read art. Sally's not fixing her own coat. She's fixing Jack's, and that's why she's in two of swords energy where she can't decide where to take herself. You need to stop picking up other people's burden, seven of wands in reverse. Stop picking up other people's energy that's keeping you from um, movement, all right? That's what I got for you, boo-boo. Who else do I have? That was Miss T. Thanks for the love. All right, MV. Let's get to the bottom of your... Oh, I love looking at the comment after. I have not done cancer yet, but I just saw it, so I'm going to do cancer next. You're welcome, Miss T. All right, let's get to the bottom of the story for M here. All righty. And then this is the last call for a super... At the end of this reading, I'm retiring the Nightmare deck for the night, all right? MV, what's at the bottom of your story? What are your messages, MV? Y'all, I'm going to be here all night doing all these signs, I swear. And I committed to do it, too. What is wrong with me? It's already 12.15. All right, here we go. Bottom of your deck. Six of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Ace of Cups, Hermit. There's a situation that's not looking super stable right now, but I feel like it's coming together. Somebody's becoming really in touch with their emotions here after a disconnect. It was a swift exit with whatever this was. Queen of Cups in reverse, Six of Cups in reverse. Somebody has mommy issues here. Higher Phantom uh, reverse. That's the lesson that they need to learn. They need to learn. They constantly make poor choices about who they go towards in a romantic situation here. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. They never pan out. Spirit's coming back to test you with a devil here. Wheel of Fortune with the devil. Judgment. They want you to make the right judgment call. Knight of Swords. Be very clear before you move towards this person. It has the ability. All right. There's either. There's. I feel like you have two choices here. Yeah. And there's the world with justice and the hangman. You need to be really careful about the choices that you're making here. Big time. Because you've got two outcomes that I'm seeing, and one is very successful, and one is a pain in the ass. So be real careful. If you see something that like resembles a past, you know, X or a red flag or a, you just really listen to your intuition here. Five of Wands in reverse, Four of uh, Cups, Magician, Queen of Wands in reverse. Don't get anxious about pursuing love situations here at the moment. I feel like they're coming. Like whatever you've called in is coming for you, but you're getting anxious here. You feel like no one's going to ever take your cup. I feel like that's wrong. That's mental energy that you need to disconnect from. Three of cups in reverse and the fool in reverse. If you're thinking about a new start with somebody from the past, forget about it. Two of swords, you're going to remain stuck in that energy. Three of pentacles, they don't want to invest. Three of swords, they're over it. High priestess in reverse. Page of pentacles. They hide a lot. They don't speak the truth, whoever that is. Six of pentacles in death. It's over. They've invested in something else. Four of wands in reverse. Strength in reverse. Empress. You might be having some um, trouble at home, all right, keeping up with your stuff. Like you feel like um, there's an energetic off balance in your house here. Somebody else needs to come and pick up some of this burden for you. I feel like that's coming here. Ace of Wands. But you have to ask for it, okay? Nine of Cups with this Two of Cups in reverse. I feel like you have a hard time um, saying what you need from people. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Candles in reverse. You don't want to appear weak, all right? You want to feel like you have it all together. Stop doing that. If you need help, ask for help. Or is this someone around you, all right? There's a... Why I have an alarm set on my phone for that hour. You're avoiding a disaster here, okay? I feel like light's being shed on that. It's like um, you... This thing looks all shiny and good, but I feel like you reach some clarity and you take some time and you realize that this is not for you. And you dodge some kind of disaster with that four of pentacles energy. It's a financial one, all right? This is a financial situation. Seven of wands. Yeah, you also need to be careful about your money thing, all right? King of pentacles in reverse with the moon and the ten of swords. Along with the three of wands in reverse. I'm telling you, do not move towards any exes right now during this Chiron. I feel like that's... Uh, or just, I'm not even exes, just people from the past, all right? There's um, a good chance that this energy will throw you off of your stability. Ten of Cups in reverse there. 
five of pentacles. Don't just hang out with people because you're lonely or contact people out of being lonely. Make the choice, you know, to keep that to yourself, basically. I don't know why I have to say that. Seven of swords in reverse with the page of pentacles. Somebody, or page of cups, somebody's coming to apologize for a bunch of lies that they told you because they've been experiencing some bad karma here. They're trying to, you know, drop some of their guilt here. I feel like they're, uh, it's almost like I get the energy. This is funny of like somebody like uh, confessing to a priest. You got eight of swords here along with the five of swords in reverse. You're, um, you have no idea how to fight for what this is that you want here. There's a king of, it's like a head over heart thing that I'm seeing here with you. King of cups versus the king of swords. Do I do the smart thing or do I do the thing that feels good? Star in reverse. That's a lesson that you're going to need to figure out. You need to balance your head and your heart. Knight of pentacles. The next time you are getting into something stable here, make sure your head and your heart are in balance. Page of swords in reverse and that you have all the informations and uh, all the information and that your emotions are not clouding your judgment. Nine of swords in reverse. I like that with the eight of uh, wands in reverse. You stopping communication with somebody is going to cut off whatever that anxiety is. This is a hurtful situation. Take it as it resonates. It comes as a king of wands with the eight of cups. It was like something you had to disconnect from. Painful truth here with the ace of swords. Somebody's trying to stitch it up, but it's not going to be stitched up. There's a need to cut off the communication here. The words sting between the two of you. All right. It's like um, little pin pricks, like little jabs at each other. All right. Any more supers? And then I'm on to cancer next. Nope, there we go. Alrighty, what deck do we have next for my cancers? And I already laid them out in a row, so. Oh my God, these will not go back together. What is going on? There we go. All right, that deck is done. Let's pull your Oracle Cancer. You get Bobcat Spirit. Life is a mystery. Everyone must stand alone. I hear you call. Oh, any Madonna fans out there? <laughs> like a prayer. You're getting the Mermaid Cancer Tarot. Uh, Dame Darcy Mermaid Tarot. Cancer, that's eight energy. You might be doing a lot of um, reflection, all right? A lot of communicating, a lot of talking things out. Um, eight energy is kind of uncomfortable, all right? It's like that uh, last push before you get to the nine and then on to the ten. It's like an uphill climb, eight energy. It's not fun, but you're so close to your goal, so don't give up. What's at the bottom of Cancer's story? Also, Cancer's, um, this Bobcat, like, life is a mystery here. You don't have to know all the answers to everything, all right? We aren't the high priestess. <laughs> the high priestess is the only one that has all the answers to everything. You're not supposed to know what happens next, all right? This is like full energy. Um, some of y'all are overthinking something. Because it's it's weird, all right? It's like doesn't feel comfortable to you. You're not supposed to know everything. All right, what's at the bottom of Cancer's story here? Nine of Cups in reverse. Chariot energy, full in reverse. I told you I picked up on that full energy, and there it is with your energy. Literally the damn fool in the chariot. Y'all, I swear to God, I'm summoning cards these days. My intuition has been on point since I had this baby. Along with the Queen of Cups and the dang tower. I... Cancer's big thing here, all right? You are foolish, all right? Whoever this person is, you've been jumping through hoops for. There's a real codependent relationship that you're involved in here. Y'all don't speak nicely to each other. Y'all showing up nine of cups and nine of pentacles in the reverse. This is very clingy. This is very toxic. There's a lot of um, hurtful stuff here. Queen of wands with the queen of swords. Hell yeah. This is not a Cancerian energy, all right? Somebody just does not give a fuck. Someone is like laying somebody out, all right? Saying some very painful truths. Somebody doesn't want to hear the truth about something because it hurts. Somebody is also, I mean, somebody's like real fired up and passionate and like roaring like a lion. Somebody else is like in this really cold energy of the queen of swords and crying about stuff. This person's not being very vocal. This person's yelling everything. Five of wands in reverse. Y'all need to put a stop to that energy. That energy is like conflicting and it's ruining like um, a love situation here. A lot of this has to do with rejection. Also, somebody is lying straight up about either um, not wanting or wanting a love connection here with you guys, Cancers. Four of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. What they're holding against their chest is that they really do want to invest in whatever this is, I feel like. This person also um, has money issues, whatever this is. They're not willing. This person does not want to share resources. I don't know why I'm getting that. Yeah, Emperor in reverse, King of Wands in reverse, Five of Pentacles in reverse, Page of Cups in reverse, Six of Swords. Why do I get that feeling? And there's a Seven of Swords, Jesus. All right. <laughs> 
that very specific situation here, somebody can't get control of whatever situation they're in, Cancer's Emperor in reverse here. So they're going to manipulate it the way they want it. They're showing up as a Knight of Wands in reverse. He was a um, player, all right? And the Page of Cups in reverse. Say, do anything. This person is very charming, all right? They, um, they're um they very vocal about stuff. The truth is, is they're in Five of Pentacles energy and the Two of Swords. Their back is against the wall. They don't have anything. They don't have two sticks to rub together. So they're like um coming in here. Six of Swords and Seven of Swords. They're trying to like free themselves up from something. This person's coming across as a very dishonest energy here. I feel like they're doing it because their back is against the wall. I feel like they don't have any other options. You're, um, oh, I don't like this. I don't like this, Cancer. You got High Priestess in reverse. Someone's going to ignore their intuition big time, all right, regarding a situation. Take it as it resonates. This situation, all right, you were supposed to learn from. It was supposed to be over. You have death in reverse here. Like you were supposed to um, end this, and you know it, all right? High Priestess with death there and the Hermit. Um, I feel like you're learning your lesson from this, Cancer, because you chose... Ooh, that's beautiful. Okay, I like that. Oh, my God, that's beautiful. Okay, good. You are learning your lesson from that, okay? There is an ending happening here for some of you, Cancers, but you're learning a very good lesson, and it leads to a, you know, a, a gift. You got Lovers, Empress, Seven of Pentacles, Two of Cups, a soulmate energy coming in, somebody, like, really wanting to choose you here. They come in up as an Empress, Lovers... Nine of Swords, Three of Cups in reverse. This is somebody, um, a lot of you, this is somebody that you have known before. You've had a lot of anxiety as to whether this person would actually make a move towards you or actually want to come back and like make something work and like be here for the long haul. I feel like they do. Um, you guys need to be really careful, all right, about what you're manifesting here. Some of you guys are just haphazardly manifesting, all right? I'm thinking of these little kids in Harry Potter and stuff that are like, um, they're saying the words just a little bit wrong and not getting exactly what they want. That's the kind of energy you're showing here, Cancer. Knight of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. The wheel's here for you and it's upright, which means a lot of my Cancers are getting some very good karma, but you have to be abundantly clear, all right, about what it is that you're wanting to go forward with. You're not very clear, Knight of Swords in reverse there. You're not seeing uh, the truth of everything before you move. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Some of y'all are still investing in love situations that you know damn well you don't belong to or belong in, okay? It's putting in effort into a Ten of Cups situation where you it's like somebody's not putting in the effort to that. Moon, world, sun. Jesus, sun and the moon with the world in reverse. Lots of y'all are Cancer Leo Cuspers that are watching this. Whenever I pull the sun and the moon together, that's my Cancer Leo Cusp. Y'all aren't learning a lesson. The world card is here to teach y'all a lesson. Also, there's a need to balance, okay, Cancers? Um... Sun and moon energy is very conflicting, all right? That's why my cusp is so hard. I'm a cusp of oscillation. We are the sun. We are the moon. Those are opposites. We are water. We are fire. Those are opposites. We are like crazy Leos that want to look at, look at me, look at me. And we're also crabs that want to hide in our shell. This is like an energy that you guys are going to have to figure out. Um, I'm getting like, um, there it is. Yeah. You need to um, get a, a clear grasp on what it means to be stable to you. A lot of y'all um, move really chaotically and try to get into commitments without seeing the truth of what it is or what you're getting yourself into. That's triggered by, you know, some unhealed childhood wound regarding your stability when you were a child. A lot of y'all did not have a stable home. This causes you to um, constantly reject healthy connections. Y'all have to stop doing that. You set yourselves up for failure with the six of wands in reverse and the hangman. And a lot of y'all are sitting in that energy, okay? A lot of y'all are also being overly possessive of somebody. A commitment situation where someone's being overly possessive of you. Someone was pressuring a commitment here. That energy is letting up, all right? Somebody's realizing that like no matter what they do, they can't force emotions here. Um, they're learning a lesson with that, with the star. They're realizing that... Um, There's better options, all right? This person that you're dealing with here, Cancer, whatever this star energy and this King of Cups here, they're real hurtful. They were juggling you and more than one person. There's the Ace of Pentacles. When you end that, though, God, beautiful, all right? Then you, there's an ending, all right? Ten of Swords. It might have already ended, but you're still tied to this person with that rope there. When that ends, you got Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Seven of Wands in reverse there, Justice, Strength. All right, great. 
So you do have a solid offer coming after that. Like somebody who's actually going to do it in the real world, all right? This isn't just some internet fling. This isn't someone you talk to on, you know, Tinder and never actually meet in person. This person opens up to you. They have strength and justice accompanying them, all right? This person, um, they're, they have good values. I don't know why I'm getting that. This person is very morally correct. This person always has the strength to do the right thing. Seven of Cups. This is going to confuse the shit out of you, Cancers. All right, because it is a stable connection. A lot of you cancers that I'm reading for are very chaotic. All right, there is somebody that is like on a high vibration, like you are in this higher fan energy who does, you know, passionately want to start something with you. And you cancers are like, what the hell? How can that be possible? Like, this doesn't happen to me. All right, page of wands, judgment in reverse, devil. I don't feel like you take them seriously. All right, you think they're just in it for the. <laughs> I think you're wrong about that situation. That's the devil talking to you. You don't feel like you deserve a connection this good, so you're rejecting it. Eight of Cups in reverse. It was good, all right? You're not leaving for a good reason. Ten of Wands, Nine of Wands, Page of Swords, King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Temperance. This connection is good, all right? That one that I saw coming last. You need to gain more information, okay? I feel like you're not even opening yourself up to the possibility of that because you're afraid to let go of stability here. Some of y'all have just gotten your stability back and you feel like if you let somebody else in or if you start um, getting your information on somebody, all right, or starting to invest in them, you feel like it's going to F up your stability and you don't want to do it. So I see you not doing it, all right? Life's a mystery, though, all right? You don't have to know everything about them. Just don't reject it if it comes to you. Did we have any supers come in with the um, mermaid tarot? Well, I'm pulling Cancer's Gypsy Oracle here. What Gypsy Oracle cards? If there's any supers that want the um, Mermaid Tarot by Dame Darcy, now's your time. When I'm done with these, I'm moving on to another sign. Woo! Those went on the floor. What's this about, Cancer? Oh, Melancholy and Sweetheart. What a Cancer mood. Somebody's like really missing their, um, somebody's, uh, some of y'all are separated from your loved one at this moment. You're waiting for a letter from them. I feel like it's coming. Somebody's really sad sitting here in the fall. I feel like you guys separated. I feel like you'll be getting, um, news from them soon. I don't know why. Friend. House. Scholar. Young woman. Constancy and fortune. A message for some of you parents out there, all right? School's starting back up. You need to make sure that your kids are already getting in that routine right now. Um, I don't know why I need to tell you that. Like, you need to get your house in line. There needs to be consistency, constancy with whatever this is. If you want this kid, if you want this to succeed, if you want this kid to learn as good as they can. A lot of y'all have been waiting for um, messages or for people to come back. I get, a lot of you are getting visitors to your actual home here. Fortune is on your side, Cancers. How many cards is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's why. Eight. I can't have eight. Wife. Nice. House, wife, and fortune. Some of y'all are getting married, all right, to somebody with a lot of money, all right, or just somebody that's going to make you feel like you won the lottery. I feel like this person might be a friend of yours. They're also very highly intelligent, whoever this is. A lot of y'all already have children, all right, and you're finding somebody, uh, like you're finding a stable home for you and your children to go to. A lot of y'all's people are taking it to the next level. Cancer, I actually like really like this energy. <laughs> You got to get out of your feels, all right? Somebody's sitting around pouting about an old situation. I feel like they're going to miss. I feel like there's a friend that's been trying to cheer you up or like somebody that might be interested in you that's a friend and you've been kind of ignoring them. They really want to be a sweetheart, right? This person's not just a friend. They want to be a sweetheart. They study you a lot, all right? They really pay attention to you. This person knows you. They, um, they could write a book on you. I don't know why. You feel like home to this person? A lot of y'all are um, sad about a daughter, all right? Some of y'all are really worried about um, a child that's away at college. I don't know what that is about. A 
A lot of y'all are having empty nest syndrome cancers. That's the message. Some of y'all, all right, y'all just had your um, kids leave for college. Look, your home, it's like very empty. There's no lights on. There's the mom sitting there and it's the fall. All right, it's when school starts usually. And then there's the daughter off on her own. A lot of y'all are worried. You're hoping that your um, kid will write to you. I feel like they will. And they're gonna, they like getting letters from you, okay? A lot of y'all are getting your um, kids writing home saying that they're getting married. Look, because there's this sweetheart with the you know, letter in her hand and then there's the wife. She's also holding the same letter. Someone's getting proposed to. All right, Cancers, that's what I got for you. All righty, where are my super chats for the mermaid tarot? Who is it? MV, I did yours. So I just got one. All right, cool. Lady Kale, what's up? Libra and Gemini, should you trust and commit? All right, let me get your three cards for your $9.99 there. All right, the next sign that I see is the next one I'm taking. I mean, it looks good, all right? I'm not mad. Stop being stuck about it, all right? Two of swords in reverse. Get out of your head about this. This is a solid offer from Spirit here. I feel like someone needs playing um, playing hard to get. It's showing up as six of wands, though, as a victory. And hangman in reverse. This person's going to make you see things differently. Y'all might have different um, viewpoints on a lot of stuff, but there is a chance for success here. Somebody's got to um, stop playing games. Though. Why do I get someone's playing games? Don't play hard to get with this person. They want things to be very clear. If you play hard to get with this person, they're going to King of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Ghost You, Page of Cups. Yeah, they're going to dip, all right? Don't play hard to get. Be very clear with whoever this is. What signs did you say? Libra and Gemini. Two air signs. Yeah, just speak the truth, all right? I feel like it'll be fine here. I feel like it has a good shot, all right? And it does show up as a Four of Cups, which is a divine gift that somebody might be ignoring. So if you're doubting it, then you might be blocking a blessing that you're trying to get. Gemini 3393. Let me get to the bottom of your story, girl. No, I have not done Gemini yet, Libra Moon, but I just saw it, so that's what I'm going to do next. All right, Gemini 3393, this is your story. Double queens at the bottom, queen of wands and queen of swords in reverse. Watch people that trigger your emotions. They make you say things that you don't mean. Also, you might have an energy of mean girl energy around you. Somebody's jealous of you, nine of pentacles with three of wands. They don't like how you've moved on or something. They see you... Um, they don't like to see you successful. They want to hold on to you still here. They don't like that you're not investing in them anymore. They've seen something recently or you've seen something. Um, you've reached some clarity. You've received some there or there is coming some clarity here. Yeah. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups with the Eight of Wands. Ace of Wands. You're getting um, some communication here regarding a love situation and you're getting the truth and it's like an emotional truth. I don't like that the Five of Pentacles and this crying Page of Cups comes here. King of Wands and the Emperor. Actually, I don't mind that. It's like there's somebody here that realizes that they need to get control of this situation or it's going to end badly. And someone's taking, someone's making a lot of effort here to try to make something work. Four of Cups, Hangman, Six of Wands. Um, there's an energy of being tired of being ignored here. You're stuck in this energy of like um, sitting around trying to get somebody to notice you. They want you to get out of that energy. It's creating energetic conflict. There's a tower moment that needs to happen. And it's not happening because like... Um, there's some kind of emotions that are making you stay here. Like you don't have control over your emotions regarding whatever the situation is. This situation, somebody's getting you out of pocket. I don't like it. Fool energy with the chariot in reverse. They make you act foolish and it's like, um, it's causing you not to win here. Nine of cups, death. You need to be um, really focusing on your independence here. There's some kind of transformation that happens when you spend time alone. All right. Be careful who you're offering your cup to, if you know what I mean. You got High Priestess with Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Your intuition is telling you right now that there's not a good, this is, there's something that you're investing in that's not a good idea or that you shouldn't be getting into something. Pay attention to that. I see there might be a possibility that you ignore that. If you don't ignore that, you're getting this ugly energy with Six of Swords in reverse because you chose not to disconnect. Seven of Swords, Five of Cups, and you're also not learning some kind of spiritual lesson. Um, it's going to create a lot of chaos for you. Whoever, whatever this energy is that you're about to engage with that you know better, it's going to um, get real dirty between whatever that is. You've got Magician, though, with the Three of Cups here. Nine of Swords in reverse. You have the ability, all right, to make stuff happen, all right? What is this about? Empress in reverse, Knight of Pentacles. You're trying to manifest, like, a reunion with somebody, and I want you to quit doing that, okay? You're putting in way too much effort and too thought into that, too much thought into that. 
it's creating this energy where uh, a blockage. I'm reading this as a big blockage. You choosing lovers in reverse, three of pentacles. You're making the wrong choice, all right? Um, there's a bad decision. Ten of cups. It, it's very emotional, whatever this is. This is picking up on like mother energy, family energy. Knight of Swords in reverse, Wheel of Fortune. If you don't gain clarity and move in the correct direction, Four of Swords here, all right? If you don't really think about this, especially how you're moving, Double Knights, Swords and Cups. Be honest about your feelings or someone needs to be honest about them with you. Wheel of Fortune in reverse is here. If people aren't moving honestly around you, if they're not thinking before they speak and before they say things, I don't feel like that's going to turn out well karmically. You got Six of Cups, Ten of Pentacles here. Somebody from your past. I feel like um, this person got cut off for whatever reason. They haven't gotten over that. They're not able to move away from you. They still have a lot of feelings here. Start in reverse. I feel like they want to come back and apologize. Four of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, start in reverse. Somebody here, they, they felt like you gave them a very stable place to be. Eight of Swords, they can't disconnect. They feel bad about the way they treated you with the Two of Cups in reverse for rejecting you. The World card is upright for you, which I like. But then it comes with the Moon and the Sun together, you know, that are both um, not in a good position. And then Justice is in reverse, Strength in reverse. You have to have the strength to make hard choices right now, all right? The dirty work that needs to be done. There's some stuff that I feel like you need to eliminate and you know it and you don't want to do it because it's it sucks, all right? You need to do that or justice is coming in for you in a bad way. This cycle is ending for you whether you want it or not. I feel like you've got to choose your own adventure here with the sun and the moon and justice and strength. You can either summon up the courage to, you know, do, bring in justice for yourself or you can let the universe decide it. Seven of wands here with the page of pentacles in reverse, ace of pentacles in reverse. You, again, be careful with your money. Ten of swords in reverse, knight of wands. There's um, something you keep throwing money into, all right, or, or your energy. Take it as it resonates. And it's creating like a big off balance here with this king of pentacles in reverse. It's um, not a smart choice to move towards this. Temperance and the eight of pentacles, something that you have already invested in, all right? I feel like this is more career-wise. I feel like you have um, you don't think it's going anywhere, but you don't have all the information that you have. There actually is something coming from this. There's balance being brought here. Um, there's um, eight of pentacles. Something's growing from this. Something's blossoming. Nine of wands and ten of wands, both in reverse, come with the eight of cups. There's um, an emotional situation that is dragging you all the way down. I especially feel like the conversations that you have with this person, all right, are very immature and very chaotic. You've got judgment with seven of cups in reverse and the devil. Um, Hierophant in reverse. Wow, that's a hell of a ending, all right? You need a, you know, something that sparks your passion here, all right? Um, the devil sits right with the Hierophant in reverse, which shows me there's still some healing. There's still something that you need to energetically disconnect from that you're not. Um, you're not willing to do the work it takes to sort your feelings out about whatever this is. But judgment is coming, all right, along with the devil and the Hierophant in reverse. Like, you need to figure this out. Or Chiron is coming to wield its ugly head. Hey, Miss Tina. Thank you, boo-boo. Tina's one of my regulars. All right, who else I got with this mermaid tarot? Let's see. I just did Gemini. Cindy, current job reading. Y'all, I do not know why I cannot get my cards to go back together tonight. And I am doing Gemini after this. Let me get three cards for Cindy on her current job sitch. Three cards for Cindy. Current job situation. Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. Whoop. Tina, you got here just in time. I'm about to do a Gemini reading. Give me three cards, please, for Cindy's current job situation. What's going on with Cindy's job? Whoop. That's more than three. You're having a lot of anxiety, all right? Something's going on here. <clears throat> I see six of wands in reverse with justice in reverse, all right? And the nine of swords. There's Emotionally, this job feels very unsatisfying. I don't know what this is. 
you're feeling like that's never going to let up. I feel like there's some clarity being brought to that. There's some very swift movement coming up with your job that's going to bring a lot of clarity here. And I think it's positive with that King of Cups energy. It's going to make you feel really good. Right now, I feel like these people are um, something they're not... You're not getting justice here. Six of Wands in reverse is somebody not noticing you. It's somebody not praising you. It's somebody not recognizing your achievements. Um, if you're not being recognized at your job, I feel like you need to stop worrying about that. I feel like there's some um, clarity coming. And it's going to make you feel good, whatever this is. This Knight of Swords, he like delivers a, a, a truth. Some kind of information is coming that's going to make you feel good all right it's going to relieve this sense of feeling like that you're losing here and let up on some of this anxiety all right all right miss tina anything twenty dollars and over i'm doing the um whole dang deck for y'all and i'm doing it quick tina so getting that gemini energy let's be chatty y'all this is last call for mermaid tarot if that's the one you want and then we'll be doing another random deck i got 12 decks here tonight y'all in case you're just checking in i'm gonna try to stay on as long as i can all right bottom of your deck girl devil in reverse five of swords in reverse two of cups eight of cups in reverse temperance you don't give a shit anymore like you're not willing to engage in foolery with this there is a lot of love between the two of you two of cups showed right up here someone's feeling like they're pushed out there's almost like a little bit too much work here Devil and the temperance on the um, either side here. I don't know how that is, all right? What's going on with that? Doesn't need to stop, like, um, with the mental games. I don't know why I'm getting that. Someone's holding too tight to a position here or onto one another for some reason. Wheel of Fortune, Two of Swords. Someone's coming to make that energy unstuck. I feel like there is some kind of an emotional conversation that's going to happen with you guys. Nine and ten of wands. I feel like um, with the knight of wands, you're confused about why this person is moving in the direction that they're moving. They seem very unpredictable, but that's because their emotions are super confusing here. Seven of cups, nine of cups. They also have a commitment fear. Ten of swords. They feel like it's like the end of the world if they have to give up that, you know, get that tenth cup. Hangman, king of swords in reverse, three of wands. If they say they're moving away from you or disconnecting, I feel like that's a damn lie. Fool, Eight of Pentacles in Reverse, Six of Cups. <laughs> if he's trying to go back and work on some old situation or start something new here, I don't feel like that's working out. Tower in Reverse with the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Y'all need to watch how y'all talk to each other, okay? There's like a, the ability for like um, conversations here to really affect you guys' stability and create tower moments. I feel like because you're dealing with two emperors. You got Sun and Ace of Wands here. This relationship is going to take a lot of work, Okay moon with the three of swords in reverse um somebody's making stuff up all right that it, or they're um dreaming up scenarios that are worse than they actually are i don't know why i'm getting that energy two of wands in reverse seven of wands you guys need to stop being so guarded with each other eight of swords in reverse five of wands there's like a one-upmanship energy here between the two of you like a back and forth that i don't like gemini lovers with the knight of pentacles there, somebody does make a solid choice all right to actually see this through and it's after a very long period of reflection and some super awesome healing. Queen of Swords. Somebody um, like reaches some harsh truths about themselves when they go into this like hermit mode here. And they learn a big old spiritual lesson. How to like walk away from drama here. And how to not invest in like self-sabotaging energy. Page of Swords in reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. That's too many queens with the page in reverse. I feel like um, somebody's keeping tabs on other people still. I don't feel like they're physically attached to these people, but I feel like they, um, somebody's still checking up on other, other love interests, magician and the chariot. This has the potential for a big old win here, but there's a um, lesson that you guys need to learn. Higher fan reverse. It's related to the king of pentacles with the five of cups. Oh my God, y'all. There is the most giant roach crawling right towards me. <laughs> oh, Tina girl. Oh, somebody send me something. It's still alive. Oh my God, it's still alive. It's like coming for me. If that's a sign about you and your Gemini, all right, please, y'all, send me money for therapy right now. This thing is still twitching. These Atlanta roaches do not play. Whew, girl. 
There's some codependency stuff that y'all need to talk about. Hermit in reverse here. That thing literally attacked me. It was running straight for me, and I smashed it, and it came back. Page of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Y'all need to have a conversation about how you um, react with other, or how you interact with other people, because that's um, leading to some um, confusion, all right? Y'all need to really sort out your feels. Star and judgment here. You need to decide if this is actually what you want. Knight of Cups is here with the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like there's a little bit of doubt with that. Justice and the Six of Wands, it is going to pan out for you. Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles energy. Um, I feel like if you stop putting in effort here, they're going to kind of feel your absence here. They're not going to like it. Their intuition is going to kick in that if they don't speak up with this Eight of Wands, they're going to lose a Ten of Cups situation. This person is still very scared of commitment. They're trying to end that cycle, but it's like hard. They're trying to summon the strength, though. I do feel like they're reaching some clarity here. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, Upright. But, like, the problem is, is they're scared to move. They, they reach the clarity and they're scared to move on it. Empress was the final card, so I like that. Growth, all right? Nurturing, all right? And then this is not a relationship growing. At least you're ending up as a damn empress because of it. I'm not mad at that at all. Oh, my God, y'all. That cockroach, like, I swear to God. I wish I wish I could... I, wanna, I don't want to touch it, but it is... It, y'all, I'm talking... I can't. Oh my God. All right, who did I just do? That was Miss Tina. Okay, good. Here we go. All right, this is the last one for the Mermaid Tarot, and then I'm doing Gemini. Oh my God, y'all. I've only done three dang signs. All right, three cards for Dina on the Capricorn in her. Three cards for Dina on the Capricorn and her. Let's see. How many people are watching this? How many people just saw me like freak out about a cockroach on live camera? Y'all, I don't even know where they come from. I live on the third floor. Oh, I'm not going to sleep tonight. Y'all, this is my bedroom. And at the, I killed another one on the wall the other night. I need to move. Two of swords in reverse. Temperance in reverse. You and your Capricorn, Knight of Wands. There's definitely a lack of balance here with you guys, all right? Devil energy is here. Empress energy is here. Wheel of Fortune energy is here. Ace of Swords. Girl, get a grip, you know, see it for what it is. Somebody's putting on rose-colored glasses about something here. Karma's stepping in. Wheel of Fortune. The, they've delivered you a devil emperor. They. Do you want to be the... Uh, there's a lot of majors, all right? I was only supposed to pull three cards for you, but... Girl, this shit looks toxic. I'm not even going to lie. First initial thing I get, you know, devil, two of swords in reverse. This person keeps you stuck. Um, you don't ex necessarily feel like you belong in this connection all the time. This mermaid is sitting on land. She's supposed to be in the water. This um, connection is devil energy that causes you to not see things for what they are. You don't see them clearly. You're also not taking good enough care of yourself. This connection um, is very unpredictable. And um, I feel like you're neglecting yourself and your needs in this connection is what I got for you. All right. Okay. Oh my God. Spirit's trying to tell you if you got a cockroach, hey, uh, Christina, if you've got a um, cockroach in your life, girl, run, because it's coming for you. Or the roaches are coming. I don't know why. Yikes. All right, let's move on to Gemini. Gemini. Hey, guys. What's your card? Vulture. Nothing is wasted. Some of y'all Geminis are feeling like people have just been taking from you. And there's like, no, I just got this image of like a vulture pecking at a carcass. Like you're like, what else can you take from me? Like, I swear to God, stop. Like, I have nothing else to give. You're literally picking me clean. Also, Geminis, this is the need for you to um, make sure that you're learning everything out of this situation. That um, everything happens for a reason. So don't waste that. All right. If you're trying to figure out why something is going on right now. You need to um, have a talk with yourself and figure that lesson out, all right? I'm using the light sears for you guys, Geminis. Super chat is on if you want your reading from the light sears. I'm using a different deck for every sign. And this one is the Gemini deck and is light sears. So 
if you want your personal reading from that, info is in the description box. What's the bottom of the story for the Geminis? Let's get to the bottom of it for Gemini. God, I hope somebody's time stamping. I don't want to go through and have to like rewatch this whole dang thing. All right, Geminis, what's your story? Ten of Swords with the Lovers in Reverse, King of Pentacles. Someone is done investing. All right, they don't care what grows out of this situation. They are out. Four of Wands in Reverse, Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. They don't feel stable. They don't feel appreciated. Someone's making a conscious choice here, Gemini. That's your own energy to reject something for stability. You're like, you're tired of this person. Somebody has people in their home. I just got a message. Some of y'all have roommates or people living with you that are um, really effing up the energy. It's like, I just got, bitch, don't kill my vibe. Kendrick Lamar song. All right. It's like, y'all just don't vibe. It's like not a good situation there. You've got chariot in reverse, six of cups in reverse, eight of swords in reverse. A lot of y'all who have been stuck energetically, um, mentally, you've been still feeding a connection from the past energetically. I feel like that's coming to a halt now. There's like going to be no more energies being sent this way. Queen of Swords in reverse, Page of Swords, because you're finding something out that you don't like. Ten of Cups with the Empress in reverse. It's like um, a real ugly energy here, all right? You, I feel like you're doing some digging here, Geminis. You guys love gaining information. This is your energy, Page of Swords. You're digging up some information and you're not going to like the truth about what you find out. It's going to cause you to not want to put any more effort into this. It's also going to put you out your energy with the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Cups. All right, if you're looking for trouble, you're going to find it. And this is a lesson for you because that comes with the Five of Wands, the Fool, the World in Reverse, and the Hierophant. You got the Hierophant and the World in Reverse here. Here's Spirit, Spiritual Teacher, the Hierophant, you know, telling you, here's your lesson. All right, don't fail it. Here's Chiron Retrograde. What are we going to learn? Have you passed your test? It shows that you didn't, all right? You're going to, this person, they trigger you. When you find this out, it triggers you so bad that you want to, like, go off on them, okay? Five of Wands with the Fool. You want to act real petty, real foolish. Please don't do that. Your advice here. Oh, my God, you guys. That roach is not here anymore. Oh, my God. It is still alive, and it is literally, like, now it moved closer to me. Oh, my God, you guys. <laughs> it will not leave. It just crawled under my desk. I'm going to show y'all. Y'all don't believe me. Look at this thing. Hold on. Where is it? There it is. Do you see that? Look at it. Y'all, it's still alive too. It's still alive. And all I have, I smashed it with my animal spirit tarot. How like ridiculous is that? I have got to deal with this roach, you guys. Ugh. <laughs> I can't stomp on it. I'm barefoot. Like, I'm not stomping on that barefoot. I'm so sorry. All right. I've got to have something here to kill this thing. This is ridiculous. Or at least trap it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I will trap it with this candle. That's what we will do. You're going in a roach pen. All right, guys. It's trapped. I'll have someone deal with that in the morning. Anyways, Geminis, your advice here is to not engage in this conflict. Don't let this person trigger you. Eight of Cups, Seven of Cups. When these confusing emotions come up, Two of Pentacles in reverse. Just walk away. Stop putting your energy into that. You know, emotionally, you need to just get away, all right? King of Wands, Ace of Cups here, Eight of Wands. Some of y'all have been putting in a lot of effort with a love situation or trying to get someone to open up about their feelings. I feel like that's happening here. This person has um, gained some clarity and reached a good place where they feel like they can finally be in a relationship. They've let go of whatever their devils are. I feel like you're getting communication coming in regarding that. You've got Wheel of Fortune with the Page of Wands in reverse, the Two of Swords. Be careful what you're calling in karma-wise, all right? Karma is coming. A lot of y'all are really tired of being engaged in some kind of situation with somebody where it's just like, um, it's a, it's a real abusive energy that I'm getting with this. This person likes to say things to you to, to throw you off. They, um, tell you a lot of things to get you entangled. They mess with your intuition here. They say a lot of hurtful stuff to you. And I feel like you're starting to believe some of the hurtful things that they say. This person is like a master manipulator. Okay. Hangman. Cause they want to keep you in some kind of energy here. Page of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Hell yeah, they're really possessive of you. Seven of Swords energy comes with that. Look, this these cards are connected. This is why I read art. 
this seven of swords energy look at all those feathers they set these birds to come tangle you up this person is um plotting something they're they want they don't want you going somewhere else seven of wands in reverse here page of pentacles in reverse they don't want you taking your energy to another situation they're very hurt about that that you don't want to invest with them anymore two of wands you're not even considering this person as an option anymore um that's one situation all right ace of swords with emperor in reverse and ace of pentacles there's a really good situation here coming for you double aces swords and pentacles um, I feel like this is more work-related for you guys. It's like a mental, um, if you guys have been stuck on a project or something like that, I'm getting, you're reaching some clarity and it's going to pan out great. You got to um, stop trying to force it though, whatever this is. You're about to give up. Five of Pentacles, three of Wands. Hell yeah, you are. You're about to give up, all right? And stop putting in effort. Three of uh, Pentacles in reverse here. Y'all, if this roach crawls out from underneath this thing, I'm going to die. Um, you're about to give up on this please don't there's balance coming here like the moon is here all right with the um temperance card like whatever confusion is surrounding this situation here don't give up yet i see you getting in this emperor and reverse energy regarding this it's showing us double aces which is like a spiritual dang blessing and you're getting ready to quit because um you can't make it happen the way you want it to happen i feel like it is going to happen but not the quite the way that you saw it coming because I'm showing it with temperance and the moon. It's like you thought it was going to happen this way, but it actually happens this way. But you get the same result that you wanted. You've got nine of wands in reverse, tower in reverse, star in reverse, six of swords in reverse, judgment. Stop making the decision to go back to whatever this crap is, all right? Some of y'all are sitting there telling yourselves, all right, that you judgment happened, all right? So something ended. Undercover, though, you're still trying to call this back in. This reads very karmic toxic soulmate to me it's a tower moment all right it should have been done you're avoiding disaster by this connection not coming into fruition here this was a karmic soulmate you need to stop opening yourself up to this person it's preventing your healing it's also keeping you mentally tied up the sun comes out after that and the four of cups with the knight of cups you're missing this though i feel like y'all are missing this and um you're not gonna see it coming because you're so caught up in whatever this crap is you're still trying to make that happen. Four of swords and nine of swords in reverse. It's like y'all want to, um, king of cups reverse, five of swords in reverse. There's so much mental burden with whatever this thing is. You know you need to take a time out from whatever this mental gymnastics is that you're doing regarding this king of cups. But you cannot do it, all right? I feel like you've stopped, you know, self-sabotaging. I don't know why I'm getting that for you guys. But you're also refusing to learn the lesson here. The anxiety is not letting up with that. But here's the Ace of Wands with Death in Reverse, Queen of Wands. You got to get fired up about change. A lot of you guys are fearing change right now. Don't be scared of death energy. Death energy is Scorpio energy. Scorpios are big fun with Scorpio Moon. If anyone wants um, supers with the Light Seers, this is your last chance for those. And then we're moving on to another sign. But a lot of y'all, um, you need to not be scared of change. They want you to get fired up about change and transformation because whatever this change is, I feel like it's not pleasant. All right, Gemini's not going to lie. I'm not picking up on a great energy with this. It's, it feels very uncomfortable, but it leads to 10 of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. They're showing me, though, that you're lacking the strength here during Leo season to actually get excited about this. I feel like you might miss out on this commitment here. It could deal with somebody from the past or it is it's something you're going to want to celebrate, but I show you dragging your feet on it. And if you do, it's going to you're going to miss out. You got King of Swords in reverse, Justice, and the Hermit. You need to really think about this before you reject it, okay? Um, be very honest with yourself and get all the information together. There is justice coming from you after this little period of healing. Also, side note, a lot of y'all need to work on your heart chakras, Geminis. All right? <sighs> work on that. Let me pull these... Um, gypsy oracle for you guys all right guys last call for super chats on the light seers deck what messages does my gypsy oracle have for my gemini's y'all i'm getting like how many signs have i done four i'm gonna do half tonight and then maybe half tomorrow so next sign i see i just looked up and saw scorpio from tina <laughs> Uh, Christina, Leo was done. Virgo was not. 
All right, I'm gonna give y'all until these cards fall and like the sign that has the most people on there is the next one that I'm gonna be doing. If y'all are on here, can you throw a like up for me? And subscribe for the love of God. God, y'all's cards do not wanna talk. Faithfulness and hope, that's why. That's not Gemini energy service. A lot of y'all need to be um doing things for others right now. There's a need for you. There's somebody that's losing hope in your life, okay? They feel like there's nobody that's like, um, they, they feel like they don't have like a ride or die. I don't know how to say this. Like they just feel like everyone's given up on them kind of. Like they don't have anyone in their life that they can trust. This person needs your assistance right now. They, they need somebody to like come fortune. You'll be rewarded for this. All right. Constancy. You'll be rewarded for helping this person. Falseness, as long as you do it, all right, from a place of love. And if you, you know, continue to be invested. Also, there's some, I, I picked up on your one that a lot of y'all were giving up hope on something. Whatever you're working on is going to be of great service and it's going to lead to great fortune. But um, there's like some self-sabotaging with this cat here, this falseness. You need to remain constant, priest, that's higher fan energy. You got to stay the course with this, all right? You're going to learn a lot through this process. Please don't lose hope, all right? You need to remain faithful that this is going to work out. There's a need for y'all to just stay in this very even-killed energy with this. You're being pulled, all right, to um, abandon ship here, and I don't want you to do that. Pleasure seekers, conversation, size. If you're feeling overwhelmed right now, there is a need for you to go be with other people, all right? There's a need for you to get in on, um, collaborate with a group. I don't know what that's about. Do we have any Psy Super Chats for the Light Seers? I don't think so. Dina? I already did that one, right? Yes, I did. Okay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right. What sign is next? I got Virgo, 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 Virgo. I'm doing Virgo. I'm doing Virgo. Y'all already know my baby is a Virgo and I'm a Virgo rising. So let's get it on, Virgos. What deck do I got for y'all? Ooh, y'all get the ancestors. Y'all get the hoodoo, Virgo. That was our lot tonight and I'm here for it, all right? Because they're the ones that are just going to lay it out bare. All right, your energy dog spirit. Be loyal to what you love. What a cute Virgo energy. I like that. That's a 10. All right, that's a 19. That's 9 plus 1. That's 10. This gives me 10 of cups energy here. Loyal to what you love. It's like being loyal to your family. A lot of y'all need to be spending more time with your family right now. A lot of y'all lost a puppy. I don't know why I'm getting that. All right, because I see this nothing is wasted. And then the, the dog spirit with the be loyal to what you love. They want you to know that um, I don't know what I'm getting a dog message right now. This is weird. I never get animal messages. They want to know that nothing was wasted on them. Like they, they get everything. I don't know why I'm getting that. Why do I feel like somebody like um, this dog looks extra. Some of y'all like treated this dog like a baby. <laughs> I feel like a lot of y'all um people made fun of you for like the dumb amount of money you spent on this dog. This dog wants you to know nothing was wasted that they appreciated all these ridiculous things that you did for them. I don't know why I'm seeing like Paris Hilton's dogs right now. That's literally what I'm picturing, all right? Is our Paris Hilton's dogs that have like their own little mansion and their pool and all that stuff. Somebody like was obsessed with their animal. And they want you to know that they acknowledge that they really liked all that ridiculousness, okay? <laughs> Take that as it resonates. All righty. Aw, Peacekeeper, you lost your dog. Aw. Well, they appreciate all that spoiling that you did for them. I've never got a message from an animal like that. All right, here's your story, Virgos. Two of Wands, I always have to do the next two cards, all right? You've got two choices when the Two of Wands comes up. Actually, there's three. Good God, Virgo. What are you going to invest in here? 
You've got a king of coins. You've got a knight of cups. You've got a page of cups. And the six of pentacles there. Five of pentacles, four of wands. There's two choices to make here. I think it's between a knight and a king. I see page of cups, so I see two offers coming in for you, Virgos. One of them is coming from a king of pentacles. One of them is coming from a knight of cups. King of pentacles is husband material. One of them's showing up four of wands. One of them's showing up five of pentacles. The knight of cups is charming as shit, all right? He's going to say all the right things. He's going to do all the right things. You're being pulled in these two directions right here. Who are you going to choose, all right? Are you going to choose stability? Or are you going to choose somebody who's going to ghost you? You got three of cups with the eight of cups. Somebody that you um, broke things off with it or um, emotionally detached from in the past is coming back. But they're causing coming back to start drama, all right? Five of wands here with sun in reverse. This person... Um, they feel like um, dark magic when they're around. Like They feel like they're a curse. This person feels like a curse to you. I don't know why. You've like banished this person from your house here with this hot foot powder. It's like, um, also, your mama hates this person. My mama don't like you and she likes everyone. <laughs> Justin Bieber. All right, I just got that energy. Your mama can't stand this person or your family. Yeah, and there's that lover's card, all right? Look, one set of um, ancestors is, you know, really happy about this connection. The other is not. Somebody's mother is trying to convince them to, you know, emperor, take control of this and invest. The other one is like, no, knight of swords in reverse, queen of wands in reverse, get the hell out of there. You got four of pentacles with the death card and the two of pentacles. A lot of y'all, um, Virgos, <laughs> let go of control, okay? You're trying to control things too much. Um, there's a need for you to let go of some control and like give some burdens to other people. You're getting too overly burdened here. Your ancestors are... Um, They don't want you to pretend like everything is okay, all right? Whatever this thing is from the past that was like super painful, they want you to, they're acknowledging that like you, you did the right thing here. Although it was painful, like, you were only doing what you were supposed to do. It wasn't your fault. I don't know why I'm getting this. Page Stop smiling, all right? Stop pretending like everything's all right. Stop lying to yourself, Virgos. I don't know why I'm getting that. Double sevens here. Quit taking on more than you can handle. It's not going to end well. Magician in reverse, page of swords in reverse, nine of wands. There, you're very in tune with the other side right now, Virgos. You're very highly protected by spirit because they see you manifesting something for you that is not going to be pleasant. There's some energy around you. That's five of swords energy. They're wanting to push you away from this. I just got chills. Empress came with that, fool, and um, six of wands. They want you, your motherly ancestors especially. This is a big queen here. Hierophant here, Bishop Mason, yeah, and Hangman. They want you to get away, all right? They want you to choose your own fate here. They want you to control this situation. They want you to take control of it, and they want you to do the right thing, which is disconnect. Because you're you're calling in something for yourself that is not um, not healthy. There's also, you guys are so highly protected right here. This page of um, Swords Energy, she's... um. She's a medium, all right? She channels messages like I do, but she's like extra good at it. Do you see all these hands coming up? It's almost too much noise, too much going on. Um, Nine of Wands energy. She's got a Bible, a pistol. The ancestors are protecting her. She's got an amulet. Um, y'all need to... Um, y'all are so protected by spirit right now, Virgos. Highly guarded. Also, there's a lot of people that want things from you. You need to set some very clear boundaries, and I mean that clear of a boundary. Like, get out of my face with this. Ten of Cups with the King of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Eight of Wands. Four of Cups in reverse. Seven of Wands in reverse. There's a situation, all right, um, like family, take it as it resonates. It's a highly emotional family-type lovey-dovey situation where somebody is being really cold and abusive and withholding. Their communication is very um, unsettling. That person's time is up, all right? Their time annoying you is up. They're telling me that you need to reject whatever this is. You need to protect yourself from this. Dear God, please make me a bird so I could fly far, far away. Dear God, please make me a bird so I could fly far, far away. That's from Forrest Gump, Jenny, when she was a little girl and she was being abused, all right? That's a little prayer she used to say out there. That's what I'm getting with this, all right? That's those words I was hearing with that eight of wands. There's a need for you to step into a family situation here. 
because there is somebody that's abusive or especially mentally abusive here and manipulative, there's a need for you to step in, hermit, wheel of fortune in reverse before something bad happens there. It's um a very, un we got a mother, a father, and a daughter here all in reverse. We've got the mother of pentacles in reverse. We've got the father of, you know, cups in reverse, and then the page of wands in reverse. This is some childishness here. This is not a stable situation, whatever this is. Not emotionally, not financially, not, you know, the way that y'all talk and interact. Whoever, what this needs to stop, all right? The garden is here with the nine of pentacles in reverse. This is toxic codependent stuff right here. And it's all because somebody's feelings are hurt. Somebody um, moved in a, a different direction, like away from this really quickly. And someone else is having a hard time getting over it. We got the moon with the two of swords in reverse with the three of swords. Some of y'all are stuck in like a holding pattern here. I feel like some light's going to be shed on which direction you need to go. And you need to open up your eyes. And I don't just mean your regular eyes. I mean your spiritual eyes as well. This is called being four-eyed. You get regular eyes and you get your spiritual eyes. Her spiritual eyes have been gouged out. Her regular eyes are purposely closed. You're turning a blind eye to something. And by doing that, all right, you're blocking out your intuition. This creates a lack of movement. Three of wands in reverse and the seven of cups energy with the ace of wands where nothing's manifesting, all right? That um, everything just feels very confusing. You got justice with the six of wands. That's freaking beautiful, all right? Dr. Buzzard, all right, he's a root worker here. He would chew the root to get the outcome that he wanted in court because African-Americans, like, did not get, you know, fair fight in court. There was no justice. It was just us. This is you taking your, getting your own justice, getting your just desserts. You've thought about this for a long time. This is a well-deserved victory, all right? Chariots here with the four of swords. This is also some kind of big win that you guys are getting. If you guys have been in the legal court case, that's speeding up and you're coming out victorious on that. I feel like you've been waiting a long time for this, that four of swords energy for this to play out and it's finally playing out in your favor. I feel like when that happens, yeah, page of coins, ace of coins in reverse, strength in reverse, king of wands, whoever you're dealing with, all right, they're not gonna be happy about that. They're coming back on your path Especially if this was a divorce or something dealing with custody. All right, this person is coming back. Their finances are all kinds of messed up. This person also lacks, um, they have no sense of urgency. I don't know how else to explain it. It's like um, there's a lot of stuff that this person should be doing in this situation, but they're not. They just don't have the strength to do it. And it's because they're going through some really painful three of swords type situation here. Eight of Swords. Um, there's the crossroads with Temperance and the Eight of Pentacles. I see you going back to try to invest in something that has already ended for you. If it's not the exact situation, it plays out very much like a situation you've already been in. Like, um, same dude, different day, all right? Or like, um, it's just like a, it's a repeating a pattern, all right? You're meant to go on a different road. This crossroads is like the most important place to be in the tarot here, in the hoodoo. It's like you've been put here by spirit to see if you'll make the right choice about which way to go. I feel like you don't because you're getting the world in uh, the world uh, star card in reverse with the ace of swords and the queen of swords, queen of cups because you're pursuing it for an emotional reason instead of with clarity. I talked about a head over heart decision in someone else's reading. This is that same kind of energy. Your emotions are going to lead you astray in whatever this is. There's a need for you to get Queen of Swords with this and Ace of Swords and like really see the truth of the matter. Because if you don't, it's going to be like an unfixable situation. It's going to be really hard to get over whatever this is. Create a Ten of Wands type burden. A lot of y'all, um, your intuition has been telling you that you're not doing the correct thing to go after like what it is that you actually want. A lot of y'all are ignoring your intuition and failing to go towards what it is that you want because you're having a lot of anxiety that you won't get there. You're thinking that there's no way that you can ever get this kind of stability or anything like that. If y'all want a personal from the ancestors from the hoodoo deck, now is your time to get that because I'll be putting it away after this and I'll be doing one more sign and then I'm going to take a rest because I'm tired. Judgment in, um, with the tower in reverse, two of cups in reverse, devil in reverse. Lord, oh Lord, whatever this romantic situation is, it is toxic AF. 
Judgment is here. They want you to make the correct decision regarding whatever this is. You need to release this devil energy. This is codependency. You're looking at it through rose-colored glasses here. This is not a beautiful mansion. This is the slave owner's house. It's ugly and it's gross. And someone is like looking at it like it's not that big of a deal. It is that big of a deal. Judgment's here. And if you make the wrong call, you're not getting the kind of karma that you deserve. All right. Virgos. Oi. Were there any supers on the ancestors? Because I'm about to do these um, gypsy oracle for Virgo. And if there are no super requests from the ancestors deck, from the hoodoo tarot, I will do one last sign before I get out of here. Size, Virgo, and conversation. Some of y'all are so tired of talking to somebody. Priest, this person is boring, all right? I don't know why I get that. Some of y'all are just really over, like you're um going over and over and over the same topic with somebody so many times. You're so tired of having this conversation. Also, a lot of people are talking crap about you. They need to get out that energy. That's not good. Yeah, frivolity. This is frivolous BS. Like, rise above that. Get in this higher fan energy. Do not let that bother you. These are friends, people that call themselves friends of yours. What else we got for Virgo? Careful where you're spending your money, too. Don't be doing things just to impress people, especially with finances right now. There's a need to be in, like, this priestly, higher fan type energy. Joyfulness came out in the reverse along with thief who is stealing your joy all right because they need to go hey thank you mona chopsis tarot i got you ancestor reed coming up um somebody is literally like stealing your joy they're a foe they they're, you don't know if this person is a lover or a foe whatever it is they're stealing your joy they're sucking your energy dry this is like a succubus i don't know what this yeah i don't like that you're faithful to this person you hope that it's going to work out. I feel like this person is a player. Pleasure seekers. Any other message for my Virgo? Y'all also need to watch the partying, all right? Virgos. Death and hodiness, all right? It's proud as a peacock. Y'all need a, um, an ego death is going on for some of my Virgos here, which I love. Y'all are having like a big ego death here. Have y'all ever read Siddhartha? I don't know why... Um, it's like you're giving up a bunch of um, frivolous stuff, all right? You're realizing that these things are just stuff. I don't know how to say this. It's like a real woke moment here. It's like an ego death. It's like, I don't need all this shit, and I don't know why I'm getting that. A lot of you Virgos are, uh, I just got Marie Kondo. Thief of joy. If it doesn't spark joy, all right, you get rid of it. A lot of y'all are actually getting in Virgo mode and, like, cleaning your house out. All right, doing the Marie Kondo, like um, you're minimizing and getting rid of a lot of stuff. You're realizing that these things are a thief to your joy, that they're just stuff and they hold no meaning and you're getting rid of all that stuff. And I like that. All right. Could be physical things or energy. So I have one personal from the ancestors. All right. Mon chops his tarot for 20 bucks, girls. We're doing the whole deck. What's at the bottom of your story? And if there's no more uh, personals after this, I will take one more sign before I check out tonight because I have got to get to sleep. I got to get this baby to school in the morning. But I will come back tomorrow night and do the other six. So while I'm doing her personal, y'all throw up the signs that you want, all right? And whoever has the most votes by the time I'm done with her reading, Mon Chops is Tarot. You got Tarot Channel. Do you got videos on your thing? Because I want to... Um, I want to watch them. I always like big up other readers. Y'all tell me who your other favorite readers are. All right, Munchop Sis, here's what's going on for you. Quit trying to, you know, if you're feeling it, feel it. That's what I can say to you, okay? I see that you're trying to stuff your emotions down about something. You're not trying to show how hurt you are about something. That's not helping. You don't like the way this is making you feel. Whatever this is very triggering. All right? You're trying not to put any effort into this. And you're trying to be um, emperor in reverse here. Which means you're trying to control the outcome. You're being told to feel those feels. All right? You need to feel those feels. I don't know why I'm telling you that. Nine of pentacles with the two of swords in reverse. Along with the star in reverse. And the ace of swords. You need to also be very clear about what you're manifesting. All right? Crystal clear. Ace of swords with the nine of cups here. 
This nine of cups, all right, there's money in here, there's books, there's alligator head for protection, there's wine for partying and good times, there's cash, there's jewels. Um, you need to be very specific about what it is that you want. They're seeing you in the nine of cups. They want you to know what exactly it is you want for that 10th cup. I feel like you can't decide that yet because, you know, star in reverse and the two of swords, you're still hung up on something else. You have not moved away. Three of, um, that's the truth. You have not moved away from something that's not meant for you. So you're being put back in this crossroads energy. They're wanting you to pick the right path. I see you investing in something that you've already started. That puts you back in hangman energy with a broken heart. Lovers in reverse, six of pentacles in reverse, ace of cups in reverse, tower in reverse. God, please do not go back to something you've already been to. Ten of pentacles in reverse, nine of swords, devil's punch bowl energy. This is where they took freed slaves, all right? The government took them to these internment camps. They were supposed to take care of them, all right, until they could be, you know, put back into the workforce and given, you know, property and get on their feet. Instead, they let all these people starve and die, all right? They completely neglected them. And now it was like at, there was a peach orchard at the bottom where all these atrocities happened. And now it said that the land from all of that is completely tainted and that nothing good will ever grow there. Everything's cursed. Whatever this toxic ass situation from the past is or this decision that you keep making, it's there's nothing good coming up. This person's time annoying you is up, all right? Just a basket of clocks. This is father time here. He's got these clocks set to um, the hands that indicate this person's name. This person's time annoying you is up, all right? You are done with this. Ten of Cups with the Nine of Wands. You need to protect your family right now. Your family is being very highly, first of all, spiritually, you're being very spiritually protected. But there's also a need to look out for your family right here. There's a family issue coming, I feel like, that y'all don't see coming. King of Wands with the Four of Cups in reverse. Wheel of Fortune in reverse with the Hermit. Um, I feel like you're going to be the healer in that situation. I don't know why that is. Aunt Caroline here, all right? She made something out of nothing. She was a slave, all right? She was a little girl sold into slavery. She, when she was sold into slavery, she started uh, learning how to throw cards. She was a cardomancer. She ended up setting up her own business. She became so valuable to the slave owners that they actually, she was so good at her gift. She made a business for herself, and then she put a bunch of side businesses off of that. You have the ability to make something out of a situation that seems like nothing, and I feel like that's in a family situation here. You've got the ability, you know, your communication and your empress energy here has the ability to ace of pentacles to st um, stabilize this situation because there's going to be a lot of people talking out of pocket here. Why do I feel like this is at like a family gathering? I don't know why. Like someone's going to pop off and like not watch their mouth and I feel like you're going to have to step in and deal with that. I don't know why I'm getting that. That's a very random message. Also, you need to... um. Spend less time worrying about what people think is the right thing for you. That's not their business. I feel like you have a hard time opening up about what it is that you want for yourself or what you're doing because you feel like um, people are going to think you're stupid for it or that it's out of the ordinary. That's attached to devil energy. You also have, um, regarding like relationships and commitment, be careful about your abandonment issues here. Um, they can get in the way of your stability. If there's a soulmate connection that you're dealing with right now or a relationship, um, also be very careful about if you have children and just be very careful about what you say in front of other people. There's other people listening and it might affect them. King of uh, Cups in reverse, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Sun in reverse, Five of Wands, Chariot. Whatever this energy is that I'm picking up on, all right, this is like... um. This is miserable. Somebody's trying to rush healing in whatever this is. There's like a really big injustice here. Justice in the Six of Wands here. Somebody's just more concerned about winning, all right, and getting this over with than actually doing it the right way. It's just kind of like, um, all right, I'm sorry, let's just get over it. But it's like somebody can't leave this behind with the Seven of Swords here and the Eight of um, Cups in reverse. Somebody can't let this issue go, all right? They're stuck on it until they find out the truth. All right, there can be no fresh start. Somebody's just trying to rush this in a fresh start. They have death and the fool in reverse. Someone's just like, let's rip the Band-Aid off and keep going. But someone's like, no, we really need to talk about what happened here. They're not wanting to do that, all right? Page of Wands, Two of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Cups. Temperance in reverse. Be careful about people from your past coming back. 
I feel like this is energy that you've already dropped. This person's coming back with like some kind of a, um, I don't want to say vendetta, but they've been holding on to something that they've been wanting to say to you for a really long time. And I don't feel like um, they're getting up the strength to say it, but I don't think it's something very constructive with the seven of pentacles in reverse, temperance in reverse, and the moon energy, knight of um, cups in reverse. I feel like the reason they're coming forward to say that stuff is not very clear or they're not going to disclose the real reason here. It has to do with, um, why do I feel like it has to do with money here? They're upset about something financial and they're being really petty and immature about it, okay? It's almost like they're um, mad that you got something that they didn't get or um, it's like kind of like hater energy. What is this? Like something came out in your favor here. Judgment with the two of wands in reverse here. And like this judgment like is shocking, okay? It's like um, somebody didn't see it coming. So they're kind of mad about that. Yeah, queen of wands in reverse, high priestess in reverse. So their emotions are going to cause them to act out their intuition because they are feeling superly overburdened. They feel like they're stuck, whatever this is. They feel like they can't manifest anything for themselves after this. Like um, whatever this situation was created such a burden for them. Ten of swords, knight of um, wands in reverse. I don't like the way this person's moving because I don't feel like you did anything wrong here, all right? This ten of swords, this is a root worker falling out of these stairs, stabbed in the, you know, heart or whatever. This root worker, all this root worker did was exactly what they were asked, all right? This woman asked for a spell. They did the spell. The spell was successful. The woman's son came back and was pissed off that this spell was successful and killed the root worker. The root workers mind his own business, did what they were being paid to do and still got ended up, you know, I feel like you didn't do anything wrong here. This person is blaming you. Um, and, um, they should not be blaming you, all right? Whatever this is, is not your fault. You got nine of pentacles with the um, garden energy. Be a little careful about how much alone time you're spending here, okay? It's almost like you're too independent with this. Almost that energy of like, I don't need anybody. I'm good on my own. Like, um, almost like refusing help. Yeah, Ace of Wands in reverse. Knight of Swords in reverse. And Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you've got a seriously good, like, um, energy work ethic wise. But you have this tendency to, like, um, take on more than you can handle at some times. And, like, when you get to the point where you need help, it's almost like a pride thing with you. Like, you don't want to ask for it. You have a really hard time saying that you need help. You would rather do everything on your own. This is a big Virgo move. All right, I get like this. I would rather be um, psycho busy and stuff than allow somebody else to do something for me and have them do it wrong. It's kind of like that energy that I'm getting from you. You need to be very careful of that. I feel like you need to um, figure out how to ask for help when you need it, okay? That's what I've got for you, my love. All right, let's see. The lucky last sign is going to be here. Bloop, bloop, bloop. All right, that was my only... Here we go. All right, guys, this is your last chance to get a super chat in. So who do I see here? We already did Leo, Shantae. That was the very first one. Shogar and Shantae, Leo is the very first one. So I got one Sag, then I've got Libra. Libra, Scorpio, Libra, 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 Libra. It looks like it's going to be Libra. All right, I'm going to do Libra, and then I'm getting out of here. Last chance for personals, guys. Get them in because your girl's tired. Cow spirit. The miracles are endless. Well, wow. I'm getting big Wheel of Fortune vibe from that. Also, cows are very sacred animals. Also, this is a 6, 15. 5 plus 1 is 6. Breaks down to a 6. 6 is always good energy, all right? 6 of cups is that happy feeling, nostalgia. 6 of swords, you're finally getting away from some drama. You know, 6 of pentacles, somebody's actually putting an effort and working with you. 6 of wands, you're being celebrated. All right, six is a good energy to be in. It's after the five. It's like um, after you suffer the storm. The five is like a shit show. Y'all are coming out of that into the six. I like that. All right, collective. So the deck that we've got for... That was the hoodoo is going away now. The deck that we have for my Libras is this one. I forget the name of it because it's French, but I will figure that out at some point. But I like it. It's all animals, all right, on this. See, like, there's, like, a cat. <laughs> it's very French, period, art on here. I don't know why my Virgos, I'm feeling fancy for you guys tonight. 
What's the bottom of the story for the Virgos here? I like that the miracles are... I'm Virgos. Libras. I'm sorry. God. Miracles are endless. A lot of you Libras... I always mess with my Libra collective. Especially their cross watchers. Like y'all's ability to um, call in justice and karma. Y'all have been praying for justice in something. It's like the miracles are endless. It's like a lot of y'all are going to be receiving a lot of good karma. I feel like Libras. All right, guys. This is your last chance to get in a personal while you are on here with me. Bono, your story. Five of cups. Somebody was sent packing. They were not allowed to see what they, you know, put all this effort into. Two of cups. Big rejection. Devil energy. This connection was toxic anyways, all right? Seven of Cups. This energy always left you confused. You never knew where you stood with this person, all right? You also felt like they were a snake. You're a snake wearing, what kind of a suit is that? Jesus, look at this art. Can you see that? Why is that not? Uh, I don't know what the glare is awful. Anyways, there's like this animal with a snake popping out of its head all of a sudden. It's like you thought you were getting one thing and then it's like a turtle with a dog head. Like, what the hell is this? Nothing is what it seems, all right, with this person. One minute they're slow. One minute they're fast. One minute they're loyal and holding your hand. The next minute their head literally turns into a snake. And y'all, there's that damn cockroach. This is a freaking cockroach head on this person. I want to get it so you can see it. Do you see that? That's a cockroach head. This is the damn cockroach that was chasing me, Libras. This is devil energy, though. Get away from it. Fool in reverse. Six of wands. If you keep trying to start over with whatever this is, all right, you're not going to win. All right? This person... Why is this person is a damn fool? Like, literally a fool. They also have really big ego issues. Like, look how pompous this damn fox looks. This person really needs validation. If they don't get it, two of wands, ten of swords. They're out. Stop investing in that. That's a king of wands that you're investing in. And they don't ever speak the way that you want them to speak. Eight of wands in reverse. This person talks to you very chaotically. They also keep dodging the um, question about, you know, are we are we a relationship? This person refuses to stamp it. They refuse it to, um, refusing to lock it down all the way. Seven of wands. It's too much of a burden for them to talk about their feelings. Ace of swords with the queen of cups. This person guards their feelings for you. I feel like they want to shout them out loud. But they're like hiding them. They're holding them back. Five of wands in reverse. Two of pentacles. I feel like they're going to come out of that though. They're realizing that they're walking a real fine line with you here. They feel like the time is running out. I feel like they're going to stop playing games. I also feel like they see you with a lot of other people coming around, okay? Like here's how fragile your relationship is. You're like on this little thing. It's like there's a candle burning under here. They realize that their time is running out. They also realize that other people are looking for you. Here's you in the windows, little cat. And look at all these suitors. There's all these other cats coming. They feel other people coming for you. There's some kings of pentacles, and they don't want you to invest in those people. You do have a lot of offers, Jesus. You got a king, page, and a knight. Take your choice. They're all coming in reverse. No, the king of pentacles is upright. <laughs> Do you want yourself a page of pentacles in reverse, all right, who's going to be just completely unable to make anything happen in the physical? They talk a good, I feel like they talk a lot, but they're never actually going to have any follow through. Or there's a knight of wands who's going to be a super good time, but they're going to like dip out on you. Or you got this king of pentacles. I feel like he's not the one that you're going to want to choose. This person might not be your normal type. You might not be attracted to them at first. Yeah, nine of cups. This is not what you had hoped and dreams of, but I, it shows good, all right? It shows coming out nine of pentacles, three of cups here, and the chariot. Like, this is a win. But this is not somebody that you would have ever looked at. But that's a lesson that you need to learn. Don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah, four of cups with the world. You've been asking for, like, a stable partner, a good partner, a love, like, whatever. Whatever you've been asking for is coming to you. But it does not look like the package that you wanted it in. Do not judge this person by their outward appearance. You need to get to know this person here. Ten of Wands, Six of Swords in reverse. Sun in reverse. Whatever this is, like, you you don't feel like this is the direction you want to go, all right? You're also not happy, okay, about having to, to drop some responsibility or some burden here. 
somebody's not happy that you're dropping their burden. You've been pulling a lot of dead weight and you are tired, all right? And you're trying to figure out how to get out of that because it's making you miserable. I feel like you need to detach from whatever this is quick, Libras. All right, you see how tired this guy looks? He's dragging all these people behind him. This, if you don't drop this, all right, you're getting moon in reverse, queen of wands in reverse. That's a whole lot of confusion, a whole lot of emotions, and it's manifesting into this queen of wands in reverse energy where you're just going to like burn everything to the ground. The queen of wands is a selfish, you know, crazy energy, psychotic almost. Like this person's going to drive you mad, all right, or the situation Knight of Swords with the Ten of Cups. I like that with the Ten of Pentacles. Jesus, that's beautiful. Finally, a clear path towards like love and stability. Again, I'm getting this message about this person coming in for you, all right? And this is not, you've been waiting a long time, first of all. A long time. This person, though, is not going to look like what you expect. They're looking in this mirror, and here's a cockroach again, all right? And they're looking in the mirror, though, and they're a handsome prince. It's like the um, Beauty and the Beast stuff, all right? This person comes across like a beast, but they're really beautiful inside. Nine of Swords in reverse with the Page of Cups. They'll make you feel very loved, all right? They won't give you anxiety. They're able to talk about their emotions. Four of Pentacles in reverse, Death in reverse, Five of Pentacles. Somebody needs to let go of this idea of their... Uh, they're never going to make it financially here. A lot of you guys are having a really hard time financially right now, and you're feeling like it's never going to end. You guys are just like bleeding coins right now. I feel like your money like is just falling out of your pockets. A lot of y'all are having to ask for public assistance right now. This little you know dad and baby here are begging for food. There's people here though that want to help you. All right, I feel like you're not taking it. Hang man, you're stuck here trying to do it by yourself with judgment. You feel like someone's going to look down on you or it's not fair for you to take a handout. A lot of y'all that um, don't take handouts, okay, uh, that's a pride thing, all right? If you're struggling, it's not it's shameful like to take something for free or to you know ask for help or to ask for charity. Some of y'all need charity right now. You don't want to ask for it because you're, you're too, too good and too upstanding. You feel like there's somebody that's doing worse than you. But this is keeping you stuck, all right? You need some help right now. Nine of Wands in reverse. You need to drop some of this burden. Ace of Cups in reverse. Six of Cups. Magician. A lot of y'all's intuition has been telling you that somebody that rejected you in the past, that this person is still thinking about you and they're very attacked. They are. Oh my God, the King of Cups is with that. <coughs> Magician, I Priestess, King of Cups, along with the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Six of Cups. I feel like this is coming to you. Emperor in reverse and then the hermit. Yeah, sit tight on this. I feel like a lot of y'all have been calling this in and I feel like it's very close. You're starting to get antsy though. This is part of your healing, having to wait on this. Yeah. <laughs> Strength, all right? Strength to do the hard things that you don't want to do. And that's to wait on your four of wands. Because right now, <coughs> sorry guys, <coughs> right now, all right, this person is not paying you any attention, but they are passionate, okay? They just don't know how to move in your direction yet. There's something going on with their money that they don't want to tell you about. I feel like it has to deal with another party. Yeah, there's a lot of coins right here. And these people are all having to pay other people. And now this guy looks like he's begging here. They don't want to admit how bad their finances are, whatever this is. They are fixing that, though. Star here. Empress in reverse. Three of wands. Wheel of fortune. Ace of wands. There's a new exciting thing coming for you, and you're blocking it because you're mothering something you should not be. You're putting your energy and your effort, and you're also not taking good enough care of yourself. I'm going to tell you that right now. A lot of you guys are having energetic blockages, or you're not being able to come up with, like, a lot of you artists, people out there, Libras, if you guys are, like, um, writers or creators, people who need to come up with new ideas, all right, inventors, whatever, all right, whatever you need, you guys are blocking your um, creativity. 
either because you're not taking good enough care of yourself or you're refusing to um, move in a new direction. A lot of y'all need to move in a new direction. I feel like the wheel's going to force you that way. A lot of y'all might have just lost a job as well. I don't, I don't want you to be scared of that, all right? Because I feel like this is something you did not want to move away from. But there was no growth in this situation. Empress in reverse. It was never going to go anywhere. Hierophant and the King of Swords here is to cut something off for you, all right? And to teach you a spiritual lesson. But you're responding to it with Queen of Swords in reverse. Like being real um, manipulative about it. Trying to get it back because you're hurt. Three of Swords. Two of Swords. You don't know where to go now with this. Eight of Swords in reverse. You're going to come out of that, though. This is a tower you're trying to prevent. You don't want to think about it. Four of Swords in reverse. Because it is a tower moment. It's not fun, all right? You don't want to sit in that energy, but you also don't want to sit in... You need to, all right? You're trying to get out of it as fast as you can with the Four of Swords, Eight of Swords in reverse out, out of this tower. You need to sit in this tower because there's a very important choice that comes after it. And it's going to require a lot of effort on your part. And it's also going to cause you to disconnect emotionally from a situation that you've been holding on to for a very long time. Justice and temperance in reverse are your final outcome here. It, whether or not you walk away, this lover's choice makes all the difference here. You're either going to, you know, disconnect from this toxic thing and go towards something more stable and give yourself justice. Or you're going back to this toxic thing and not taking care of yourself and not being an empress to yourself. And you've got temperance in reverse here. All right. That's what I got for y'all. So if there's any, um, I'm going to pull the Gypsy Oracle for my Libras. And then I will take any supers that are left. I want to say this is the Tarot de Artis or something like that. I can't remember. It is a French deck though. All right, let me pull the um, Gypsy Oracle for you guys. Let's see what we got for Libra. Miracles are endless. It did feel like good financial energy for you guys. Like, there's some stuff that, um, you gotta get your creative juices flowing again. I feel like a lot of y'all are blocked. Falseness. Soldier. Someone's working extra hard to lie to you. Doctor. Room. Love. Thought. One more. Fortune. Told you. What I say? Financial stuff. There you are. Rain and coins. A lot of y'all need to get into hermit mode, okay? Your thoughts are getting the best of you. There's a need for you to disconnect and get alone. All right? You need to be by yourself. A lot of you are trying to convince somebody to go to a doctor right now and they're refusing you. They need to go, all right? Somebody's like not disclosing how bad like I feel like a medical situation is and I don't do medical readings. I don't. I'm just getting that there's somebody who needs to talk to a professional and they're not letting on, you know, they're being very guarded about how badly they need to talk to a professional. They're overthinking something right now and they need like outside help here. Some of y'all are feeling super alone right now. A lot of y'all are like missing somebody. Like somebody's missing? What is that about? Somebody keeps going back, all right, to like a room that y'all used to sit in. And it's very triggering to them to see you not in that room. They don't like seeing you not here anymore. What else do we got? Cheerfulness and misfortune. Be real careful, all right? This is a very specific message. Be careful about um, when you're out, all right? Who you leave your drink around, things like that. I just get a really strong energy of somebody getting like roofied or something crazy here. And also um, people who are dealing with addicts, things like that. There's some kind of wake up call coming, I feel like for them. With the doctor there and that um, all that partying and that misfortune and stuff like that. Um, and the falseness, falseness, addicts lie, all right? Some of y'all are dealing with an addict that's about to get a real rude wake-up call. They might end up in the hospital, all right? This person needs love, all right? Think before you go off on this person. I feel like they're going, they're lying about how hard things are for them. 
There's the house. It came upside down along with Sweetheart. Some of y'all need to um, write home, scholar, wife. This is another message. Like, y'all are getting the proposal message too. All right, a lot of you are. Um, somebody's definitely becoming a wife in my Libra Connect Collective or getting proposed to. Also, somebody, I just got this message. Somebody's having like stepchildren or children that aren't theirs coming to move into their house. There's like a blended family situation coming here. And I don't feel like it's um, something you expected. Yeah, there it is. Child with enemy in reverse and messenger in reverse. It's like um, an ex or something that was like, you'll never have custody of these kids. Blah, blah. You'll, you'll never see my baby again. And all of a sudden, here's the baby. And I feel like it's weird. Like they drop it on your doorstep. All right. It's like somebody's like, I just can't take care of this baby anymore. Take it. Some of y'all are getting stuck with somebody else's child. And it's going to be very unexpected. This might have to do with this attic situation. I'm not going to lie. I'm picking up a heavy somebody. And there's malady. I just said that. And then service where you're going to have to take, uh, you know, do some community service or free work, basically. I don't try to predict deaths. All right. I don't do that. But I see um, definitely a wake up call. All right. Involving doctors and doing too much and overdoing it. All righty. I've got one. Skits, those shadow ones are like super personal, but I will do, I'm going to do a bottom of the deck for you right now after I do Missy because I owe you a reading and I'm going to do that, but we can still do the shadow one. Okay. Hey, Seychelle, what's up, girl? I was getting ready to check out unless there's any more super chats because I've done six signs and I've been on here for what? Jesus, almost three hours. I got to get out of here. All righty. Um, let's see here. Missy, Missy. Relationship read, $10, three card. Well, that came out fast. Chariot, three of cups, nine of pentacles. There is a um, situation here I feel like you're hanging on to. Nine of pentacles in reverse and nine of cups in reverse. Hell yeah, this read is very, very codependent. It's either you or them. Whatever this is, this energy here, I don't like it. It's like thinking that if you get back together with somebody or if you um, if you just see them one more time or if we can just, you know, get in the room together or something, this will all turn out. But that's like, um, I don't like the way this is coming across. That's not good communication, all right? I also feel like you've got somebody um, not being totally honest with you at the moment. If you're waiting on an apology, this is not coming. You also need to slow down. I don't know what your relationship situation is, but um, if you're dating a lot, you need to slow that down. I just get the energy of somebody um, giving attention to love situations, not for the right reasons. It's, because it's more like a I'm lonely reason. It's like a good time, not a long time. Like these, um, these things are very fleeting because they're not in, uh, entered into with the um, intention of being stable. And I almost feel like these people tell you, all right, that it's not stable or that they're not here for a commitment. And they're, they mean it, all right? They don't put any effort in. Knight of Wands in reverse there. They're in and out on you. Five of Wands, they create a bunch of drama. Two of Pentacles. You get very wrapped up in these other people's energies. That's what I've got for you, girl. Skitsy. I'm going to do you a... Skitsy, what deck do you want? I got this random French one. I got Mermaid Out, Light Seers, Ancestors, Nightmare Before Christmas, or uh, Golden Girls. What else do I have? Zombie, Alice in Wonderland, Queen Alice, True Heart, OG Rider Wait, and Morgan Greer. What you feeling, Skitsy? Mermaid? Got you, boo boo. All right, this is going to be my last thing here. Skits, here's your um, oracle. I'll pull you one. Lion spirit. Be generous of spirit. Leo season. Be generous of spirit, all right? Spirit's going to do what spirit wants to do. You also need to be looking towards the future. This is 10 energy, 37. 7 plus 3 is 10. I feel like this message for you, all right? Nothing is wasted here. I feel like that's for you as well. 
don't waste these painful lessons. I don't know why I'm getting that for you, girl. Let me see what messages I can get from the bottom of everything for you, girl. If anyone wants a personal, this is the last chance to get one of those before I tap out of here because I'm tired. So what signs did we do? We did Leo, we did Virgo, we did Libra, we did Cancer, and Aqua. Leo, Libra, Virgo, Cancer, Aqua. There was one more, right? Gemini. We also did Gemini. So if you're looking for those readings, those are on there. The other six I will do tomorrow because I'm tired. All right, Skitsy, here you go, girl. Nine of swords with the seven of swords. A lot of this anxiety you're going through, girl, is self-created. Quit it. You're also worrying about something. You um, think that someone's lying to you. You're damn straight. <clears throat> You've got the wheel of fortune with the world coming in. Here comes your Chiron lesson, and it's coming hard. That wheel of fortune is not in a good positioning, but it's showing that you're learning your lesson with the world card. This change is going to suck, but it's necessary. You need to stop putting in so much effort here into somebody or something. Um, there's no, this is a no-win situation, whatever this is. This might have to deal with finances. Whatever this is, it's slowed down a lot, all right? And there's just no win here. You don't have any fight left with whatever this shit is. Two of swords, king of cups, high priestess. Your, in your intuition, all right? You're feeling like there's somebody who's got a lot of shit to say to you regarding a romantic situation. This is somebody who broke your heart. This is somebody who said some things that were super painful. You've been stuck on this energy waiting. You're, I feel like you're intuitively feeling like this person still has feelings for you. I don't view this as a good connection, though. I feel like this is a very toxic and karmic thing. Stop waiting on this person to get in touch with you. There's a need for you to get in this Empress, King of Swords type energy, which is like you don't take shit from anybody. We're only taking care of ourselves and our babies, and like we're um, going cold on any and everyone that's not doing that. You're showing up Queen of Pentacles here with Empress. <coughs> Ten of swords with the two of cups in reverse means like this, whatever this soulmate, karmic soulmate thing is, judgment in reverse. If you don't cut this off with a passion and quickly, queen of wands there, you, they, want you to, they want you to be fired up, all right, about making this judgment call and you're not. There's something that you don't want to end that's highly emotional and they need you to get into this energy of like being like um, queen of wands. Like no one's going to stop me from making this decision. I feel like you don't have the strength to make this decision right now. Because sun in reverse, knight of cups in reverse. You can't emotionally detach from it. There's too much pain there. I do feel like this is affecting your um, home life. The four of wands comes up with a reverse in that. You're still trying to figure out why the hell this happened. I don't think you need this truth, girl, because I feel like it's going to hurt. Page of swords with the queen of uh, swords. Those came out in reverse. I don't want you to learn this truth. I don't think they do either because it's not going to make anything better. It's only going to make it more painful. You're energetically out of balance now, girl. Temperance in reverse here. You, um, you need to be less quick about who you're offering your pentacle to. You invest long term with a lot of people, I feel like, here. And you're investing in King of Wands in reverse. You're looking for the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. And that's what you're trying to call in for yourself. But you, something about the way you're manifesting this is just a little bit off. You keep offering your pentacles to a king of wands in reverse, which is an unpredictable energy here. You can't depend on that person. They're, they're violent. They're mean. They're chaotic. They say shitty things. They're um, not good with their emotions. These per these the, This energy around you, it's like you're a magnet for it. It's almost like you're calling it in. What is this about? Ace of pentacles with the ace of wands. I love that. All right. Ace of pentacles, ace of wands. Finally getting excited about something, all right? Somebody showing a, a passion for you. Somebody wanting to invest in you. I feel like you're also getting some creative ideas on the work front. I don't know what that's about. I feel like there's some new opportunities for you to make some coin. Stay put where you are right now. If you stay put where you are right now, I feel like there's, there's going to be a reason to celebrate with that Three of Cups coming up. I don't know what that's about. Was telling me to, um, especially in a work situation, 
hang out where you are because there's something coming that will um, get you excited and will lead to better money. I don't know what that's about. Six of cups in reverse, seven of wands in reverse. Strength. You're figuring out this is, I like this, girl. I like this a lot. There, yep, there's a higher fan. There's your spiritual lesson. You're saying no, okay, to toxic, you know, childhood stuff. You're opening up old wounds here. You're having the strength to go backwards and deal with them skeletons in the closet. And I feel like these are childhood ones. You're finally summoning up the strength to face those demons, I feel like, because you realize that it's doing you an injustice. You're no longer giving energy to that. You're um, gaining some clarity about how to move away, all right? You're ignoring that pain with the Three of Swords. It's almost like the, your inability to get over whatever this was was causing you to act real messy. You were jumping into situations and giving your um, pentacle and your time and your energy into people. You've also been jumping through hoops for people. Somebody's treating you like some kind of a joke. That's blocking your healing, dealing with this energy. Somebody literally um, thinks you're a fucking joke. Like, I don't know how to say that. Like, they keep playing you for a fool. But you won't let go of them all the way. Like, um, you still engage with this energy, whatever this is. And there's no win here. Six of swords in reverse, six of wands in reverse. This person's never going to get it, all right? They're never going to see your worth, your value. They're also not going to leave you alone, okay? There's a tower here with the moon in reverse and the four of swords. This is, I feel like, a tower that you might bring in yourself here. With the, um, It's like something you do without thinking, and it's based on your emotions getting really triggered, and it calls in a tower. The good news is it drops a burden for you here. Ten of Wands in reverse, Hangman in reverse. And you start seeing things a little different, and it gives you like this insane control with the Emperor, especially over your abandonment issues. It allows you to start talking about your feelings better with somebody. Star in reverse, Eight of Cups in reverse, Knight of Wands in reverse. Eight of Swords. What is this shit from the past that you're stuck on, all right? You still have like some kind of a notion, okay, that there's, um, you're stuck in this situation mentally. You're trying to detach your emotions. You're trying to do it with a quickness. You're trying to get over it, but you cannot. You cannot control your emotions with whatever this is. It's like you keep making the decision to invest this energy, but nothing ever comes of it. It's blocking options for you, all right? You need to become unguarded from that. Like, um, stop opening yourself up to that. Stop investing in drama, all right? There's somebody who brings out the worst in you and you keep feeding it. Death with the nine of cups in reverse. That's death to codependency. You need to quit being codependent on other people because when you do that, you're getting a better offer, all right? You've got page of pentacles, king of pentacles, but it's only after this seven of cups. You've got, there's someone you're stuck on and you need to start considering other options because there's better ones coming that bring you the ten of pentacles. They're actually going to want to work with you, all right? They're going to be excited to work with you. Page of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. But you got to cut off the devil here. Ace of Swords with the devil. That was a long journey to get there, girl. All right, let's see what else I got on here. Oh, y'all, I was about to go to bed. And look, y'all paying me, so now I got to stay here. Oh, there's just one good. All right, Marion. Insight into your love life was reconciling with an ex who snuck and reconnected with his ex. You told him you refused to be an option. He said, was busy to talk to me tonight, so I told him, don't bother. You need all the tea. Let me bust out the ancestor deck for you. I will get you that tea. What's your oracle on that? Pig spirit, use your mind wisely. Girl, you can't put lipstick on a pig. <coughs> He don't want me to spill the tea. My voice is about to <coughs> go. All right. Somebody please timestamp my dramatic cockroach episode too. All right. Because that is uh, one for the books. <laughs> All right, Marion. Let's get the tea here on your ex. Nobody wants to be an option. <laughs> Too busy to talk to you.
If someone's too busy to talk to you, just let them not, not talk to you. All right, what do you got here? Fool in reverse. Page of Wands, Two of Swords in reverse. Look, this person makes you act, act foolish, okay? They make you talk in a very immature way. They make you uh, feel very stuck here, but you're stuck just because you want to be. You don't have to be stuck in this energy. This person, um, this connection is not going to turn out the way that you thought it would. What else we got? Start in reverse. They have a whole lot of shit that they need to take care of. Strength in reverse. Page of Pentacles. This person has a serious commitment issue here that they're not even attempting to fix, okay? They're showing up as double pages, wands, and coins, which means that uh, with regards to stability and having conversations about it, they just avoid it at all costs. They have um, big commitment issues. This person is like um, super, yeah, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They are not stable. They are not grounded. Tower in reverse. They, um, they try to like, how do I say this? It's like hiding the ball. It's like um, shifting the blame, right? When you call them out on something, they um, immediately be like, well, you did X, Y, Z. Or like, it's, they're, they're never will accept account accountability here. You're looking at this situation with rose-colored glasses on, all right, with that tower card, thinking that this has the potential to be Ten of Pentacles here. But the way that this person talks to you, you never feel at ease. You never feel stable. You also never understand the direction that it's going. Nine of Cups with the Ace of Swords. Is this really what you want, all right? Queen of Swords. They're asking you to, like, detach your emotions from the situation. Pretend like you're your girlfriend, all right? Or you're one of your friends. And they tell you, all right, about the situation that happened. But it's your situation. Like, how would you react to that, all right? How would you respond to that, truthfully? If you removed all emotion from the situation and you only had the facts, like, if you, from what I hear, all right, you were reconciling with somebody. They snuck out and re reconnected with an ex. They're too busy for you. Like, they're not, they're still making an option. Like, girl, the answer is bye, all right? If you want a, a reason for that, I don't have one, but Ace of Pentacles is here for you with the Six of Wands in reverse. This person, all right, there is a reason that they're attached to you. You provide some grounding energy for them, but they're never going to value you for what you're actually worth, all right? They're never going to see your true worth and celebrate you. They're never going to, like, um, be your cheerleader, okay? This person is never going to be your cheerleader. Your partner should be your biggest cheerleader, Seven of Swords, they lie. Five of Wands, they create drama. Also, I feel like other people know about this, okay? Why do I get the feeling that other people know about this shit and they talk about it? Justice in reverse. Six of Cups. You're triggered, all right, because you still got feelings for this person, but they're doing you dirty. And you're not going to get justice in this situation unless you Dr. Buzzard it and get it yourself. Temperance in reverse. They create a lack of balance with you because they hurt you all the time. Five of Cups here. They don't treat you well. <laughs> Two of wands here, but you won't consider any other options. And that's Miss Ida, the high priestess in reverse. You failing to like get excited about other options here is like doing your intuition an injustice. You're like almost purposely ignoring your intuition. Yes, you are, girl. Come on. Come on. Look at the energy on that card. Quit ignoring it, all right? See it for what it is. Wheel of Fortune is there. Once you do that, all right, there's the wheel. What comes with the wheel? This is what the wheel is coming to get rid of for you. Yeah. Karma's coming, all right, and it's in your favor. And it's because you've been rejected. Ace of Cups in reverse and Queen of Cups in reverse. Magician in reverse. Six of Pentacles in reverse. It feels like every time, this is a repeating cycle too, with this person. I don't feel like this is the only time that they've done something like this to you. Wheel of Fortune shows me that it's gone on and on and on, over and over and over again. Somebody keeps trying to manifest this back, all right? Somebody keeps trying to be real super loving here. Oh, come on, it's okay, it'll be different this time. Every time you invest in this person, you take a gamble with them. This person is unlucky, all right? You need to wash your hands of them. They cause bad luck for you. Lovers in reverse, Eight of Pentacles. Your guides, all right, your ancestors, all right, his ancestors are super happier in the connection. Yours are not. They're like, stop investing in this. You know that there's nothing coming from this. 
You're making a fool out of yourself is what they're kind of looking at. Their one ancestor's like, mm -mm, girl, no. Like, no. What would your grandmother say about this? Ten of swords in reverse. This should be over. Nine of pentacles. There's a codependent reason we're sticking around with this person. And you should not be, okay? They don't mean any, like, pig spirit. Use your mind wisely. They called him out as a pig, literally. And use your mind wisely. Your mind has already told you you're not going to be an option, but you're allowing yourself to be an option if this person can't even free up the time to talk to you. Yeah, quit trying to hold on to this person, all right? I feel like you're doing all the communicating. You're doing all the work here. You don't need to be doing that anymore. That's what I got for you, boo-boo. Oi, oh my god. Thank you, Chosen One, and thank you, Jeanette. Y'all, I'm just going to keep it real, real with you. I've been on here for three hours, and my energy sucks right now. Can you two, because you sent so much, please send me an email, and I'm going to do a long, especially for you, Chosen One. <coughs> I'm going to put my email in the chat right now. <coughs> it's like two o'clock in the morning and I have to get up with my kid in the morning. <laughs> Here's my email. Y'all send me an email right now. And tomorrow I will make you a private video and email it back to you for the chosen one and for, is that Jeanette? Yes, because I really appreciate those donations. My God. Oh, if you cash at me, email it to me. All right, I haven't even been able to check those because they're on my phone. And if you guys want a specific, whatever, give me your signs and what you're inquiring about. And I will hook y'all up with um, private videos, okay? There is my email. a southernstrega at gmail.com Alrighty. Email me all these details because I will forget, all right? But God, thank you so much for ending this for me on a very high note. <laughs> I really appreciate you guys. And um, I would love to do a long personal video for you. All right. All right, guys. I have got to get my ass to bed. I am so tired. Please don't forget to email me though, guys. Okay. And anyone that cash apped or if I missed you or whatever, please let me know. Because I didn't see any of those come up. Because I don't even look at my screen half the time when I'm doing this. But thank you guys so much. All right. For tuning in for three hours and listening to me ramble. I don't even know what the hell I said. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Please don't forget to um, email. Love y'all. Bye.